Chairman, uh, shall we resume our proceedings and the Council, if we're ready? Please proceed. Thank you. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Witness. Council, uh, uh, we have already dealt with the housekeeping rules regarding the interpretation. And we are expecting to hear another witness after you. Uh, so we would proceed with deliberate speed this time. Uh, thank you very much. No uh, the last time we were talking about uh, the violation of rights of inmates <laughs> that arose out of the admission of people into the prison without lawful authorization. And the unlawful detention of unconvicted people into the security wing. And dung ikana molu samba dinkirato e kafra me security wing ulem tankada kolango bunda nyinti meni alonko ulu manaje ninkaiti manaje eka ulu samba uto dalilo mena. But but <coughs> you also opened the important question. Wokola bari inata nyini karbunda kuma ba dayele of removal of detainees from the prison. Wolem eka mo mutaringu lu fintin di kasola nyami. Uh, this is the topic I want us to discuss now. When is the latest period in which prisoners can be removed from the prison? When is the latest time what in which a prisoner can be removed from the prison? What is malo watu ti me yalongo niwo watu tamita imanyang kasola kabundi la kasola. Um, five o'clock. Because five o'clock, umanya na prisoner tarabant. It's five o'clock because no prisoner should be outside after five. Is that dantang? Only a, few, only a few prisoners should be outside. Government uh, gardeners, These are the gardeners. Or generally, in Kavu, mess boys. Or generally, we call them the mess boys. Or you mean recommend red band? Or those that are recommended as red band. And the And those working in the kitchen. Those are the ones that may be outside until six o'clock. The rest be done by five o'clock. But the, all of the rest are inside by five. No one is outside. Except, Except these individuals that I mentioned earlier. On. But for a lot of these detainees, the NIA used to come pick them up at midnight. But ah. Gross violation of human rights, but that order, if the law is always silent. Call of way. This is what I'm telling you. Wherever there is a gross violation of human rights, the law is always silent. So from that answer, I take it that the removal of these detainees from the prisons after 5 p.m. is a violation of their rights. It's a violation of the laws of the prison. <laughs> Woto kule moti me ya lonko, yewo molu la nyanto letinya, andung inata kaso fang fana na luwa wa letinya. Ah, abole jama. Yes, that's the way it is. And equally, the admissions. Sometimes, these detainees were brought in 
after 5 p.m. Is that not the case? And when Kola Fana we come all the men who nati ke dundi kasola. Tomorrow we come all the men who nati jeli. Tala lulu tambirim Kola uraro fobga ke. Oba mansia. That's not uh, frequent. Mansiat. What was frequent? After midnight onwards. Was midnight onwards. And that too is unlawful. And we Fana ni luwa mantanyola. Five o'clock uh, law break that means so called three three a.m. When the law is broken by 5 p.m., what about uh, 3 p.m. in the morning? So I'm going on and on. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Korsha. Okay. Now let's talk about the conditions at the prisons. Tell us about the re remanding. What are the conditions that make it a violation of the rights of the inmates to be detained there? Munkulle munyan tatinya aluti moli e meni alonko uwele katara orima anuinje. Akili tarenya fango cello kono. The conditions of the cell. Cello nyanta mo mendanga motala ni wo double If the cell contains double the amount, the number of people it's supposed to contain. Obviously, yalo o even comfort ni nka wo tokate. Obviously, there cannot be any talk of com comfort there. In fact, you're talking about the overcrowding in the cells. Mr. Overcrowding, remind me, overcrowding. That is the whole thing, overcrowding. Uh, apart from the overcrowding, are there any other problems which can give rise to violation of rights? Yes, If you look at the cells, and you look at its capacity, at least amanyana tambela 12 now what say our 15 people. You are told that at least it should contain 12 inmates if, if, uh, if, uh, or maximum. if maximum 15. Time more, 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 it's inside there. From at the corner. as cover. And you put a, a curtain on top of it and cover it as a lid. That's where you urinate. And that's where also you ease yourself. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Up till seven o'clock in the morning. For one month, two months, three months. If you are in that situation for one month, two months, or three months, two years, three years, five years. Much more people have been there for two to five years. Obviously, the health condition will deteriorate already. Obviously, the health condition of those people will deteriorate. So, new deteriorate, a human right violation will be forgotten. And if it deteriorates, then there is no more talk about human rights there. And, and in that, tell us about the sleeping conditions. You know, different people react, uh, their resistance is different. Some people, uh, their condition is such despite that. With all overcrowding, despite all of the overcrowding that I am talking about. The problems in relation to the, 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 the inspection of library around a lot of planter auto. If you go to the chamber pot, if you stand and at the window and you look inside, you find some people sleeping, some even snoring. But some don't have that time, they are unable to. Some of them sleep in the afternoon when the cell doors are open and when they are on break. 
if indoor games will play can will do stay rest yes you know that time the prisoners will be outside playing games that is when some take the opportunity to go back to the cells and lie down and sleep sometimes as a human being it from 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 a memo officer even you as an officer being a human being nibe night duty la if you are on night duties you lot a planter rote jibe konoto and you stand over the window and look at them and uh, see the condition that they are in obviously ibal nako you will know that if you are inside there yourself, you ask yourself, how are you going to manage? The condition is terrible. You will see to it that the condition itself is terrible. Uh, tell us about the flaws. The conditions, was, were they dry or damp or... Terror to do a cataran yadi la catara montor in a la catara sinandin fa catara jarin. Obviously, sinango is part of it. What catara jela? Five sinandrom. The wetness is part of it. It must. Unfortunately, many be bundara ma fongala. Unfortunately, those close to the door. Olunim mo be fu ulla fong suto abata sumunala. When they are getting up to urinate, they have ike kunile uli. They have to wake them up. You want to be low like that. Otherwise, they will step on them. Because now overcrowded. Because if there is overcrowding, in 20 liter drum, oil fengko in 20 liter ta container ying. They have the 20 liter oil drum. Olo kundu. That is what they will slice off. As fengko ying chamber pot. And they will use it as a chamber pot. So obviously now overcrowded. Obviously if there is overcrowding, there is overcrowding by the corner there. Sometimes in the dollar shumina le eji use eji kabon duma le jebe kesinang. Sometimes if people are urinating and they are using water in the process, the water spills to the ground and dampens the place. So someone that only officer from a day will follow. In the morning, when the officers open the door, it means follow came The heat that uh, comes from the inside. No, it 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 I explain no. You cannot explain it. So who more member or corner for fun okay? Much more the people that were in that cell until morning continuously. So that's a terrible situation. It's a terrible situation. And the uh, nature of Benjamin. And its nature is such that. Concrete slab or levee. There are concrete slabs. New wooden fence wall. Wooden, 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 wooden fence wall slabs. And wooden planks. We call it a concrete corner. That's what they place on top of the concrete. Like every prisoner, they have a wooden slab. Like they make a concrete corner. Every prisoner has a wooden uh, a a plank which they put on the concrete. We call more BC. Sometimes that is not even enough for all. We make it, we make it. So others, what do they do? Under that fence corner, slab corner. Under the slab. So many kela water duma on the floor. Those who lie under the slab on the floor. It's more than many kela sand. It's more than those that sleep on top of it. So when you did. So how how do you see that? Many kela duma. Those who lie on the floor. And by right, many kela la duma. And by right, nobody should lie on the floor. By a cello, a cello do kunyami. Because the way that the cell is constructed. Number of slabs many yanda la la cello kang. The number of slabs that should be in the cell. The number of prisoners many yanda tarra in that cell. Should also be equivalent to the number of prisoners in that particular cell. So say this in this slab will fat us. So now if all the uh, will be occupied as slabs are occupied until people are now lying on the floor the car, and the door, the looking for curtains and spreading them and lying on them on the floor. <laughs> so that all, all my all my people did. You know that is a calamity. So this is So that is the way the place is. So uh, that is such that some of them who are on remand, they get information that in the main yard, they prefer, despite the fact that they are on remand, that they be in the main yard, where the convicts are, because that is more convenient than to be at the remand. So some suggest from the remand win, uh, in the one man cells, maximum security wing, one man, you know, one man cell that. For the maximum security wing, which are it, one man cells, water, to be in those cells, better yet to remain. It's better than to be at remand. So, do you think okay, see maximum security wing? So, for, for reason of adult. that is one of the reasons which takes people to the security wing. Yes. So, do you think they are maximum security? They are there for punishment. Some are at the maximum security wing, not because they are, they are on punishment. But they, they are there because they are because requested. Because of the condition may be remain. Because of the terrible conditions that remain. One man separate cell corner. To be in a one man cell. It's 
better it's better to be at the remand when you, all of these things you existed. told us you told us about the heat yeah. that comes out of these cells as you open the cell doors yeah. isn't there any ventilation munda yekando fonyen ni ngi somanda ye bunda ele kandi fason men ka fintina konoto fodun wo dinkira man silo lu soto fonyo ka dun ka bodamena men be ko palantero ana nyongo all those that went to visit the prisons saw the, the way the doors are. Okay. You see that, that door behind there, you see the hole? Just exactly. Just exactly. Just exactly. Just exactly. The space at the door is not bigger than this. Okay. Coma. Behind. A ventilation okay, diamond, coma. There's santo, a, santo, santo. There's a space on top for ventilation. Oh, the amount of air that comes through that place to the inside is very minimal. As a prison officer, are you suggesting that the ventilation is inadequate? No. Not even equal to being uh, adequate. Uh, Mr. Chair, the, as part of the investigations, uh, we have taken pictures of the cells, we have taken measurements of the ventilations and so forth, uh, and that would be presented to the Commission at the appropriate time for the purposes of reform measures, because if those are found to be grossly inadequate or uh, as mentioned by the witness, Perhaps maybe there would be a basis for the Commission to look into this again for the purposes of recommending uh, changes uh, in, the, in the prisons, especially with regards to the issue of ventilation. Now tell us about bed and beddings. Saying, Lanya, Larangulu, Aning, Lanya, Beje, Nyadile. Concrete slab for the This is what I was just talking about. Do you have a concrete slab? A pillar doke thing, a pillar doke thing. Pillars on both sides. So all slab on you call it a dakan. And the slab is placed on top of those pillars. So only the number of prisoners in mental. So the number of prisoners that should contain. Or number of slabs like a tarakonot. Is the same number of slabs that you have inside. So you call it a dikela wala kang. That's where you lie on. So no overcrowding nada. If there is overcrowding. Okay, minkela duma. Those who sleep under, uh, they almost double those that are uh, lying on top of but, the planks. But how about linen, Be the, the bed sheets, cover, and things like that? Are those provided? Blankets, mattresses? Mattresses, uh, Yes, ordinarily they should be there. Because every prisoner, because every prisoner, whether remind lo bang, whether you are on remand, convict lo bang, or you are uh, convicted, entitlement let. That is your entitlement. To have a mattress. To lie on. And also you have your bed sheet. Your bed sheet. And also what to cover yourself with. But but uh, that was not existing. Existing. The supply will follow The supplies that I found there. The mean follow supply. Those that were first supplied. If those are lucky and they get them. Yeah. Those that come after. You would be the ones to manage for on your own. Because prisoner dolu. Because for some prisoners. Who take uh, their food very seriously? Because people are not the same. Some cannot resist. So hunger. It is always uh, necessary for them to take your ball and you exchange it for a bed sheet to another prisoner. To another prisoner. You, you, tell, you tell the other prisoner. I will give you my lunch bowl for two days. And you help me with a bed sheet. I agree. 
you could agree on that. And when your lunch comes, you hand it over, and he will give you the bed seat. All those things happen there. But doesn't the prison ensure that every inmate would have those basic facilities, those basic necessities? Kaso jing ibuka jeko kumu kumbije ibe nyanta wakulu soto la lekwe la nyanta wale nyanta wale soto la ha anyanta kila wale nyam yes that's the way it should be because data nyimbije because the data is available the data is available every day every day somanda o somanda each morning the director general the Director General, all head of security units, all heads of security units, I'm Secretary Interior, the Permanent Secretary at the Interior, Minister Interior, Minister Interior, up to the President's office, up to the President's office, every day, every day, the role on you prepare, we prepare the role, copy, sir. and each one of them gets their copy, every day, moment number of prison, every day, the number of prisoners. All categories of all categories. Information or all that information is Dele, supplied on daily basis. On daily basis. On weekly basis. On weekly basis. On monthly basis. On monthly basis. On that particular issue, would such reports include the number and details of detainees? So new waku for some of the caring. For Kibaro, Kulu Katara Jele Menketa Muta Mulu la Kulu Kibaro Janila Kulu Bilari Nyaminga Katara Jele Bang. Ah. Because yeah. detainees will be a jail. Yes. Because all your detainees are there. As Each one of them that comes to the prison as a detainee. As a convict. As a convict. As a remand prisoner. Or on remand. Every day. Every day. information or All their information is supplied. All the offices. All the offices. So on that basis, if a person is secretly brought into the prison by an agency of the government. The government cannot deny knowing that that person is in the prison because of the reports prepared by the prison. Amunta Silan, Nimman Sakundala Duku Bunda, a Mokuloto Nati J. Yo, what a Silan Bunda, it has also no lako, Ima Long, Koni Moka Ribijek, and we tell her Nati J. Ayalong Mansa. Yes, you know, but the government. I think the opportunity means sort of. The opportunity that uh, it gets. And uh, where they speak. As an ordinary man. As an ordinary man. opportunity sort of. You don't have that opportunity. So if uh, the leader, the government, the president says he's not aware of this. Will, will you go to a platform and deny that what they are saying is not the truth? Who will do most that? Most of the detainees. Most of the detainees. They will inquire about their whereabouts. And, and they will say that they don't know where they are. The, IG, the, I, the NIA will say they don't know yeah, where. But don't the prison, as prison officers. The NIA will say they don't know where they are. But those of us who are at the prison, as prison officers. Within, a, within our level, we know that they are lying. Because it only a man and only a need to look at the cafe market. Because they brought him to us, and if they now deny knowing where they are, don't have you ever funny for the bond to let you keep you don't wear the custodians. We see that they are lying because we are keeping them, we are the custodians. Uh, thank you very much for that, that, that answer. That is precisely the point I was driving at. And uh, Barabak, I love Jabi Roca, not to Dinker Alessandra and Dylan. Yes, so now let's move to the issue of um, no, perhaps before I leave prison conditions, let's talk about the mosquitoes. I mean, seeing where mile two is located, one, one would definitely know that it would be infested with mosquitoes. Mile two And we have heard uh, from witnesses who have been detained in the security wing, and they said it's infested with rodents, with rats, and so forth. 
can you tell us about that? Well, if you first hear from phone on your order level. I know mile two, okay. What also solar no? Well, you know, mile two, as for that, no one can deny it. Near the location of GV. If you look at its location. Right inside mangrove swamp signal. It's right inside the mangrove swamp. Obviously, Obviously, there's no doubt that the mosquitoes will be there. So it is left to the management how to overcome them. But naturally, but naturally, mosquitoes are there. Okay, and you But naturally, mosquitoes are there. Okay, you can you you know me for young people, but now, well, well, get that remittance is still normal. And these rats and uh, cats, they are after the remnants. But need 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 do more remember it. I hear bong. Obviously, you are calling the attention to come and because have their. Each time there's leftover food and it's been discarded, you call their attention to come. So obviously, what 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 a fallen way. So that is inevitable. Is there any effort on the part of management to prevent these things from happening? Maralo Bundala Carola, Ferrete Bulu by Semen Tamandino Purka Ulubai. Ah, because Nigel say with this change of government, Virakata. Yes, uh, now I have noticed that with the change of government, in Yajama, on many occasions, Nimbutan court in Narana, when I come from the court, sometimes, because sometimes in the Famoke Jacob, because in that away for one year plus. So the interior. Sometimes I'm away for a long time. There was a time I was away for a, a year. The support staff. As a support staff. But I ordered the president's office. I left there and went to the president's the office. Security sector reform. During the security sector Over reform. Almost one year plus in Bo Fernando. One year plus I was away there. So now I'm talking around all round now. I'm going to take a steady back. I'm an all round now. I'm not steady in one place. So most of these things it can happen in Lembika Kalamut. So most of these things happen without my notice. But many can get yala. But those that happened so, in my presence, ne? those that I witnessed. From health. People come from the health department to spray the place. Prisoner bath in the banta. They will take all the prisoners out. The la bath spray. And they will spray the whole place. Nila fungolo. With their materials inside and outside of the cell. Change of government. We witnessed that many times. I witnessed that on many occasions after the change of government. As far as you know, has it ever happened before the change of government? It is a long road. Jan niman sa kunda be falin na wone na kakele numbang. Ah, during, before 94. Yes, before 94. Before 94. It used to happen. Has it ever happened to your knowledge between 1994 and June, and January 2017? It's a long road. 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 It's a It could be, but this may be during the early part yes. of 94, yes. 95. Could have been during that time. And thereafter? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't I know is that they only frequented there after the after 2016. Yeah, the, most, the recent one, President's office. The recent one was before okay, I went to the, the very weak land transfer to the president's office. Was when before I transferred to the president's office. But that very how week. how would how were the prisoners coping with the mosquitoes? Tain kasolang kolu ni suzula lukala nywe nyadi. Kifam finjang kolu ebe meneka. What can you ebe meneka? They just have to fend them away. It's just as if you were in your own house and you have mosquitoes in. You don't have the money to buy Muntaga or spray. You take a fan or a rag and try to fend them off before you fall asleep. That's what you will do. Uh, how about the prisons? Would they normally buy? Uh, mosquito coils or uh, mosquito uh, mosquito sprays. For the benefit of the inmates. Tibuka ni susula boro lusang member komun tega na nyong kote ngulu pompira ngulu puru isi kaso langko lutanga ni susula kindurom. Ani konga fu enya mentendurom. No, just as I told you. Ni susula la season osita. When uh, the mosquito season comes around. Suti ya medical le contact. 
Now the, ministry contact, ministry of health contact. The head of the uh, place con consults the ministry and they will consult the, the health what, department. What only can I spray? Is the spray? And that is when they will come and uh, spray the whole place. Yes. Sorry. But, but, but you told us that between 1994 and 2017, they hardly did that. And the people in 1994 and 2017 were among the people. I'm going to go. Maybe I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. This is what I'm telling you. But those that are, that I witness, even if they happen, it's not more than two times. But it means theater. But mostly. Um, you change of government, like or not? Was during the change of government. Oh, well, yes. Okay. So for those periods in which uh, they did not spray the place, would the prison authorities buy mosquito spray, sprays or repellents for the prisoners? Akawato memfutengu wato ko wato meng it abukake. Fodun kaso kono je eka borolo susula borolo sang kaso langkoli na purke tanga ni ba mfuye buka fenge. No, ibuka say. No, they did not buy them. The commission visited the prisons and we noticed that in some of the cells there is mosquito mosquito gauze or wire gauze is put under on the ventilation mat. Is that a recent phenomenon or it has been there before? Ring komisong otara kaso kumbabo. Yaje palantero dolto yeng susula waya lukije puru susula lukana dunna. Wodung ilabanda okelaje sai na folu dun bijele nun kabirinjuna. Wolu wolu sai denga bara ni change of government kerele yo 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 ulbe kaje. Those are recent additions after the change of government. Baru nunto before. But before. Before ninety four. Before ninety four. Before 1994 or before 2017? No, before 1994. After 1994 or before 1994? Yeah, no, change it again. It's just recently, this change of government, after 2017. Ah, before 1994, what do you mean to Jan, 94? Before 2017. Aha. Yes, before 2017. So this change happened after 2017? Yes. Okay. Even these funds, yes. neither are signing remaining. The giant fund will be be signing. Mm -hmm. We have very big giant funds there now. Mm -hmm. We'll be sign, sign. Even at the remand wing, there are yes. giant funds now which are recent additions after the change of government. What was fund to you, fund to you. But we we have no In a nutshell, in a nutshell, yes. would you say that the physical conditions of the prison are fit for purpose or they are inhumane? Amunda wato sila niya beju be ya kenso nyoka. Kaso kono kulu beje nyaming. Amang, amang, amantara hadama ya rin wafodu mwobe mune falaji. Ote kelono hadama di yati. Kema bami ya lanko ibe 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. It cannot be you mean because an older person who is 50 or 80 years old. Ini dini ube nyoka ng 20 years, 18 years. And you are mixed with youngsters of 18, 20 years. Ibingo ni mamaringolu. Who are your children or the age of your grandchildren? You are lying down inside the same cell. You go to the toilet, the same place. That is despicable, and the normal society. No one can say that that is humane in a normal society. And of course, you talked about the other factors like the heat in the cells, the overcrowding, mm -hmm. the too many mosquitoes, yes. and the lack of ventilation, and all that. Mm -hmm. You, if you put all that together, you would agree that the conditions are inhumane. <laughs> For Fonola Dumbalia Palan Dinkral to a Fonio Dundula TJ, and in Colea Cotton Lumenie for Casola Cony in Camala, a new back of Tanyoma, or to Mota for Nola Co, or Dinkira better than the poor Hadamadu. I'm better for Hadamadu because Hadamadu Manata or Condu, so can elderly somebody. It's not fit for human beings. No human being should be in that condition, especially an elderly person. Good people, Otto. If you are in that situation, I'm a priestly meeting. They don't know whether you are a priest, whether you are an imam. They don't care if you are a principal. They don't care if you are a lead counsel. They don't care if you are a commissioner. 
50 50 that was how it was well we have to ensure that the prisons are a good place for everybody who goes there because nobody knows who will ever get there nyanta jelala koto kasoni yarada nyama men sibete hada mari wul fe kadu bob galom men bitaraje thank you very much inumbara now let's talk about the food sai mbalu domoro ngawji be ban Domoro. We eat jelly. We eat domoro. Food. Tabirinya, tabirinya, we eat jelly. Tabirinya. I'm laughing because of the manner of the the preparation of the food. Maybe mani taboteng akafesiale. When it comes to cooking of rice, that is better. Yo, bari futo ni na necho. But when when it comes to the couscous, ani mono ni kafumi ya pap. And the pap. Uh, prepare nyami. The manner in which it is prepared. Uh, okay, mashallah. Only God knows. Okay. Mashallah or subhanallah. Oh, no, I'm not good at all. It's not good at all. Because the jamaa jamaa prisoner from Kafuyo, they are very very sabu. Most of the times, the prisoners will tell you that that is the cause of the death. They say because food shortage. Leading to the suffering. Most times, the prisoners will tell you that that is the cause of the death. They say because food food shortage. Leading to the suffering of their feet. If you don't eat, and mono eat, can be me. The pap that they eat, they claim. So a lot of them because of mono mean. Responsible for the swelling of their feet, and so most of them. But if you don't eat, you have a menu level. Why not? But the kitchen has a menu. So the menu not a pure mono. You have a mono table. So if on the menu that is pap that has to be cooked, they will have to prepare it. Okay, special people will be there. Me, I don't know. Medical advice. But there are special people who, on medical advice, yes. sometimes uh, they are asked not to so consume salt. salt. And so they will not put salt yes. in their food. Bread and butter. Some will tell you that they want bread and butter. They will recommend tea. Some will recommend tea. So we will from time to time. Those things are available from and time to time. Dr. Ma recommend. But if that uh, was well, not recommended by a doctor. It will be a food abandoned, but tomorrow can be a certain number of prisoners in the cell alone because in the cell, cartel is partial. You will have to abandon your food because cell or cell prisoners are not busy. They they know the number of prisoners in the cell. Then tomorrow tell us here. When it's time to dish out the food. So the number of prisoners in the cell is training alone. So they put the number of patients on the train. The ushers will escort the food to the cells. So every cell. In every cell. Mess boy will be jail. There is a mess boy. Think a coordination of the cell or who does the coordination within the cell. There is a mess boy or call. You would call the mess boy. That's why for all the rules of jail. You'll ask him how. I have confirmed. What is the number in your cell, and he will confirm. Already, it is alone as officer because list will be able. But already, you knew as the officer because you had the list with you. So, Miss Boyle, by phone, echo. I need forty level cell account. So the Miss Boyle will tell you, for instance, if there are forty individuals in the cell. So, for echo, thirty-five level is right now cell account. He will tell you right now there are thirty-five. Five level outside level. Five have gone to outside labor. Or two later to court. Or two have gone to court. Or, or two to the hospital. Or two have gone to the hospital. Or two to the garden. Or two have gone to the garden. They will be add together. If you add all of that and together. They are 40 total. And if you if it tallies with you your 40, 40 you know, then you deliver the 40 basins. Then you need serve men inside. And they will serve them to those inside. Inside a different party. Those that are in the cell. They will have bowl or lundini not a yata. Those that are in a different part, they will put their, uh, their uh, bowls. Uh, when they come, they will be served. Tell us about the quality of the food. Sai mbaloni kwa dumoro menda da wole wanya ala bete ya benya dili. No, bete ala bete ya follow no ko bete ya dalto standard because I cannot talk about uh, the quality of the food that it is up to standard. Ba ungal no ko mini beo dlaro because I know that the people that are inside there mini beo shuo kono if they were in their own homes they go tulse chu. If they wanted uh, still prepared by palm, palm oil or oil or vegetable oil, it came in mile two. What you eat at mile two, your wife will never cook that for so you. The difference at home. Will be Therefore, there is a difference. Would you say 
that the food was fit for purpose, or would you say that the quality of the food was poor? Hello. Choice table, for you know they have no choice. But, but could they, you answer the question more directly? Yeah. Would you say that the food was good or the quality was poor? The quality, the quality, the quality was good. The quality was poor. 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 The we are talking about standard, and it's either poor or good. And you told us about the beriberi. Yeah, beriberi kumo fanyi. And you said it was derived from eating the pap. And we have to we call mono men that are just a fire pap. We we like our sabu jama. It from it call fanyi. That is what they used to say. We got information that many inmates died as a result of beriberi. Nanyim fanang kibaro soto ko mo jama fataje me yalongo wo beriberi kurang leefa. Ah, yalo, ndema ndara medical side. You know, I am not on the medical side. Mr. Korta, we know you are not from the medical side. Yes. Yalo ndema ndara jara ro karola. Just answer the questions as you know what happened in the prison. Ateke ni ninga itila itila longo futa tadamento. Ateke ni ninga wole la ro. Yalo ninga confirm ko beri beri lefa. You know, if at all I have been able to confirm that they were in fact killed by beri beri. One first hand information let. That is first hand information. Ah, Mr. Korta. Yes, sir. Uh, beri beri, you used to call it oedema of the legs, isn't yeah, it? Yes. Beri beri, we have simulula funo faka malam. We have we have this report which has listed a number of people who died in prison. May mo ludo la kuosa fe ko lufata kasola je. And a number of them says it's oedema of the legs. Adun isafer jamaya itandiko wasim funo dalilole akendi ifata. Would you agree that people have died in the prisons as a result of this condition, swelling of the body and the limbs? For bitu ita fanga beso na lini lakoni dolu fata je, wili amunta funo isimulu aning iladinkiri balo dinkira dolu kafunu wole asa wole kete la saya daliloti. Ah, yalo kamevo. Yes. What I'm saying is that I am not a medical doctor. And that is not also not my area. But what I'm saying, what I used to hear, I did not uh, look at their death certificates. Medical officers should like a responsible death certificate. That was the responsibility of the medical the director general. Medics and the director general. If someone dies, look at that they usually go to the post-mortem well, and they will come back with the report DGI, it, I explain and it. take it to the uh, you, you are taking it a bit too far. Yeah. All I am after is, yeah. as a prison officer, yes, sir. did you know that people were dying from the very bed? Yes, oh, according to uh, people there, there. information there. According to information. Just say yes, yes very, very whether you knew. Them. Yes. Uh, yes, from that okay. information, okay. yes. Was that information known to the prison staff in general, including the director general? Ako wakibaro kasula dukula lufoya lone ban katabula director general fanga. Yes, because ni prisoner father. Yes, when a prisoner dies. So akasa news ke sakuletle. News circulates. So, in a sense, it was common knowledge in the prisons that people, prisoners who are dying from beriberi. Amunda watu mo jamaa wibo tani yingi kala makasola jiko, mulo be faka na aluni beriberi le be faka. Aya no, actually, ndeta vuno noko beriberi le kani mo be faka, baringa noko number of prisoners minge faka siyale. Well, I cannot confirm that in fact their deaths were as a result of the beriberi. But nufa bem beriberi le tibang, I don't know. Baringa noko mo jamaa le kani faka so kono minge mangi han beriberi faka. But many people used to die in the prisons, and some of the causes is not usually beriberi. What I am after is that. It was common knowledge. A kamenyi ninka wala mnyinti ni mulundi kusenuele mo jamaa bota kala mako with prison management. Anim kaso bunda la mara bunda. 
that prisoners were dying from beriberi, this swelling, swelling yes. condition. Yes. So Lankolo be faka na luni mfuno le kasa abuwele mnyi beriberi. Ah ha. Yes. Yes. And it was common knowledge also in the prison that this berry berry was as a result of this pap that they were eating, correct? Uh -huh. Yes. Did the prison management do anything to stop that pap between 1994 and 2017. Manner, the, the place of sleep, the food, general condition prison from La Carola. The prison's general condition. Obe improved uh, from 19, uh, 2017. All of date. those improved only in, 19, in 2017. Of that the is date. fair enough, and we accept that point. Yes. Yes. But answer the question more directly. Mm. The, the preponderant view is that many inmates were dying as a result of beriberi, which was derived from the pap that they were eating. Amunta ni londa komu jama be fa kanje watumo. Me ya sabu wale mning ijato dulalu kafunu wale mning kura unti ko ibe ning ikau mono me mim pap wale kau sabu. Ago luka ufole. Yes, I said that. And the prison authorities knew that fact. Adun kasola doku lalu iyo lone. Did they do anything to stop providing that pap to the prisoners between 1994 and 2017? Did they do anything to stop that pap? Ako for for a kana 2017, mono kada Ah, yalum bolo Please <coughs> just answer the question directly. No, changes monkey auto. Okay, no, thank you the very changes much. did not take place at that time. So, hey, changes monkey auto. Thank you very much. Changes thank started 2017. Le. Okay, thank you very much. Now, the way the pap is and before is even different. Now, the way the pap is prepared, okay, changes is different started from 2017 before. to date. It's in fact improved considerably. Now, there is no pap, they have bread and tea, according to the director general. Mm -hmm. Amunta saying, you call you what a general director general Yafanyami, a Kamburoning Jikando Soto Leti. So between 1994 and 2017, it was obvious to the prison management that prisoners will continue to die because of this pap. Kabo 1994, Kabo 1994, Kana 2017. Water Queta Casola Bunda la Maralo Bunda Maleko. Casola and Colbe continued like a Let's answer the question more no, directly. We are talking about the pap. We are not talking about any other disease. Okay. And let me recap for you. You have told us yeah. that many inmates were dying because of the pap. Right. Yes. You told us that management knew that the pap was killing the inmates. And Maralo Bunda Bota Kalamalako were pap or were Molufakangel. Yes, because they can complain. Yes, yes, because they used to complain. Yes, pap, 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 pap. Yes, I can bulk a berry berry cause. Okay, prisoners complained that the pap was causing the berry berry. You have also told us that management did not change this diet. Between 1994 to 2017, they only changed it after 2017. And when you inform them, they say, "Oh, don't worry, I'm falling." Now, when you're in the year, my 2017. 2017, So what I am now putting to you, so I'm being made to understand it. Is that in spite of the information that management had, we're not going to go. Maralo, Bunda, you're not going to be able to do anything. 
that this pap was killing the prisoners, they continued to serve them this pap with the full knowledge that prisoners would continue to die from this pap. True or false? True. True. Because Nico Hotel, Nico Prison is a hotel. If you say that a prison is a hotel, what do you mean by that? So you don't care what, what is happening there. You don't care about what happens there. You, got, you have a good general manager. And uh, what, 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 tell us, don't tell us, uh, don't tell us in parables or don't tell us elliptically. Tell us more directly exactly what is it you're trying to say. Are you telling us that Yaya Jame was using David Coley to continue to serve the prisoners with PAP, knowing that the PAP was going to kill more prisoners? Is that what you're telling us? Amunta eh kana afonya nyama me ya lonko wala bekela ko sandolu wala kuma koto malu amunta wala mnyindi ko ya ya jamme ate david kolile muta ka kala jorangoti puru ka wokolu tamandi ka soko no me ya lonko wala mka solankolu tanoti men tata sabu hanila domoro la tinya men kata kela saya sababoti ya ya ne story be juve if you look at the whole story uh, David David was the one between us and Yaya. Because David like communicated to us directly. David was the one that communicated directly to us. And anything that happens in the prison is on David's desk. So I think that says it all. So in essence, you are telling us that David continued to serve the prisoners with the pap with the full knowledge that this pap would be killing the prisoners. Amunda wala mnyindi ko. David ye nyil londo soto la kwa nyil mono be nyil ufaka ne wairi kuma fota ale ma bai foka ne. But I continue to hanimbi ka o pap di ka so lanko la je. Because ni mo saban nani fata yiko nyinde ya tinda. Yes, because if three or four people died and they say this is the cause. So, ima wo stop. And you have not stopped it. So, Jamal responsible to say. Who then is responsible? Jamal is responsible to say. Who is responsible? The head. The head. And who was that? David Kuli. Thank you very much. So let's move to the issue of the dead bull incident at the prison. Nata ni sifari mutura freo meng ya la kumofo kasola je ngofa na njibe saimba. And tell us about that. Ofonyamba yemelonje. Hello, I'm in for a drunk from the preliminary phone call. I never got stay mile two back. You know what I told you from the onset? I was not. I'm not an official phone call backer, and most of my time can be spent away. I was not permanently at the prison. Mr. Witness, I'm coming. Yes, arrive. I'm coming. I'm coming. So, what did you say? The issue of the dead bull. I'm in Kenya. It wasn't in my presence. But when I came, I found a problem there. I had it been narrated. That the very day that it was consumed, uh, most of them had running stomachs. Some of them were even admitted. And I heard that, that uh, one of the prisoners even died. I had all of that there. They said the dead bull was uh, picked up by drivers who were sent by, yeah, de by yeah, David from Olyundum, I don't know where, and yeah, it was brought to the prisons, yeah, and they cooked it, well, yeah, consumed, yeah, yeah, domo. and people consumed it, After, and then they had these bags of burning stomachs. So, okay, what happened there? That happened there. What made me believe that more? There was a prisoner. There was someone who was a prisoner uh, by the name Musa Suso. Called Musa Suso. He was uh, heading the team. Those that uh, challenged this thing. Very affinity banter. 
when he came out? He yeah, pardoned already. After he was pardoned? So, in that year, he arrested. He was uh, subsequently arrested. Because I heard that he took David to court. What Justice Jobate Malak lawyer? At that time, Justice Jobate was his lawyer. Aye. So case Tlamanta Nyaming. So how the case ended? Malong. I do not know. Aye. So Iko wala ya dalil lawyer tinda because Musa and David Samba court ya ya ko Musa la pardon oni revoke. So they said the reason for the revocal of David's pardon was because Musa's pardon. Musa's pardon was because uh, he, he took, took David, David to court. court. So another Musa murundam back to prison. So, yeah, Jamie ordered for his uh, uh, arrest and uh, he was taken back to prison. Let's take it step by step. Simfa and in Simfa. Musa was already granted pardon and he left the prison. Was the pardon already gazetted? Well, they say pardon. Mr. Witness, sometimes, yeah, just a moment. Sometimes I ask you things. In your head, the answer is obvious. But I want to put it in the record. You understand? Because the record does not contain what you have in your head. So, so, so. It may appear stupid that I am asking those questions, but it's just because yeah. I want to put it in the yeah, record. Understood. So understood. Was the pardon gazetted? Well, you know, the gasset is not our responsibility. responsibility. What is our responsibility? Names for the interior. When the names come from the interior? To indicate that? The number of prisoners in the name you everything. The, the serial number. Every prisoner has a serial number. The indicating the number of prisoners and their serial numbers. Because serial each number, one of them has a serial number. 15 stroke 70. Serial number. 15 stroke 70. Pate Jao. Is in the list of those that are to be pardoned. So new list of that. When that list arrives, go list of follow. We follow the list. We go to where they are being kept and we bring them out to the reception. And in the case of Musa Suso, he was in that list. That's what I'm the same scenario. And he left the prison already. In the prison, you go with your discharge certificate. Yes, and he had a discharge certificate. Discharge certificate. So that already. So subsequently, he took David Coley to court. Yes. So another David Coley, some Yes. For feeding prisoners with uh, uh, a dead bull, uh, meat from a dead bull so, recovered from somewhere. So I, I, I David, some Kito la nina kamko. I kasolang kolu domorindi jifo lela ninso men jifata. And according to you, because he had taken David Coley to court, he was rearrested, taken to mile two prisons, and his pardon revoked. That is your story. Munda itena ta itandi nyaming. Why did I David Samba Kito la pura kasolankolo domorindi ninsi jifaringolela? Wodali lole ya sabu ina ta ye yamfo menka ya pura kabula. Ina tamu takota ke ya murundi kasola ayo yao yamfo menka ya burka. Mr. Chair, na experience be prisons here. All of my experience are the prisons there. Musa lo mo follow the akramina. Musa was the first person to whom it has happened to. He discharged already. To be discharged already. Then he arrest kote ke. And then to be arrested again. Ko ila number of years min tuta je. And for them to say that. Then ayo be saf kote. The number of years that that we are left on your term. Mr. Chair, that raises the question as to the legality of a revocation of a pardon, which is already gazetted. It's like it's it's dead and buried, but you breathe light life into it again and resuscitate it. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting legal question which we will research, but uh, I doubt the legality of the rearrest and the detention. But uh, apart from the arrest and detention and uh, recommittal of Mr. Suso to prison, did they take any steps to suggest to you that Mr. Suso was being punished for taking David to court? 
fodu eh la musa muto ka murundi nan kasola fo amulunta nyine la ko iba a kulu kan dalilo men kan wolem nyinti ko ay david men samba kitola hello directly it will be it will it will it will to fole you know they will not tell you that directly no, no, the, no, the, the question is yes in inkaro momenti apart from revoking his pardon yes and asking him and bringing him back to the prison did they do anything to him, Musa, which suggests to anybody that he was being punished? Hana manke ila amutoti ka murundi na nkasola ka ala yamfo buruka. Akame njini nka fo, ye kuke Musa la le kasoko noje, memba ita nilako, iba tajiri ya kango dalilo le kango. Ah, ya le tulma fo directly, but science nyo lumini keta. You know, they did not say it directly, but the science that uh, took place... Where are Tandila Ko? That showed that by police can. He was being punished. And tell us about those signs. What happened to Rolu Fonya Bang? Okay, because he got very mad at When he came back, I don't know if he outside level. He never went outside of the outside level. Yes. So Barbiri, I think when he pardon when he revoked, he amurundi nam. But when his pardon was revoked and he was brought back. So he can somebody see local highway can banjul see local. They used to take him along the highway. Right, far far lola ji. And they'll give, they'll make him do some clearing there. And also, we are low, we move from home humiliation. You know that is humiliation. So that passes by. So that they passes by. Yeah, ji. So eh, Musa fell far far lola Musa fell. When they see him, they will say, oh, there is Musa clearing the grass. So where can they go on punishment then? That shows that that was a punishment. Can we go for the man? Where can they go if a punishment can they? Even that alone shows that he was being punished. Yes, because I'm not following woman ke. Because his initial uh, detention that never took place. So was he fine? So things like that. Uh, let me read out the law for you. Mm -hmm. And that is section 47 of the Prisons Act. It says as follows. Every prisoner under sentence of imprisonment with hard labor may be kept to labor within or without the precincts of any prison in any part of the Gambia and in any employment that may be prescribed by the, with the approval of the minister in standing orders issued or standing orders issued by the commissioner. In the first instance, you said Musa was not leaving the prisons. Munda Foloto. Musa buka funti nunka soko. Yes. Biri ya nati foloke, biri ya soro mfoloke. Nene maja bandi outside. I never saw him outside. So from that you deduce that he was not under hard labor. Tembole, wole ya itandi lako utumo, amantara duku kolengo la karola. Because hard labor, magistrate o la jojo leko o indicate in your warrant. Because the hard labor is usually indicated by the magistrate or the judge on your warrant. But if it is not in your warrant. Hard labor. Then you should not participate in any hard labor. Unless Jojo or the magistrate are indicated in the warrant. Unless it has been indicated on the warrant by the judge or the magistrate. If you manage to hard labor, and you cannot go on hard labor, after a medical officer may examine. When you have not been examined by a medical officer. Because any high court judge recommend for hard labor. Even if the high court judge recommends. Hard label for you. I indicate warrant to call. And in the case that in the warrant. But it is a hard label unless and until medical officer may examine. But you will not go on that hard label until you are being examined by a medical officer. To verify whether you are fit for label or you are not fit. To verify whether you are fit for label or not. So, so your testimony is that Musa was put on hard label because David Coley wanted to humiliate him. And punish him further. That's Mo your testimony. Amanda, the last year they are caught up in it. David Kuli left a left arm malundi lale ka adokunde ka mantora kulu kono ko alata nyaming. As the jero old and dinna. That was how we perceived it. And uh, not only was he humiliated by being paraded uh, along the highway. He was also transferred to some other prisons, wasn't he? 
amunta amanda nyin da manna ka ala kolu lankene maka doku ndi silo lukankata purka adoya bari na ta saundile ka samba kaso ala doli ata nu makati lefa makati was taken to makati and and what was his what was the reason for taking him to makati sa amuna ka dali lote puru ya samba makati na biro londoro ko ka nyimbe foten do di ko humiliation londoro ka ke ponish ni bodi jang eta makati because makati ni tara je ibita farado ko wala je this is just in our own thinking to humiliate him and take him to makati because if you go to makati you walk in the paddy fields and you people at the prisons believe that that was unlawful and i tell men the kaso karola yalo nako woni lua mantanyol ayalo o dependale ni ni tranko even fit for level a hard level a idu jojo fana makel waranto ko no ko sentence to hard level is amanya nakela that depends if the magistrate or the judge did not indicate in your warrant that it should go on hard level then that should not have happened now i can label me for for parade before section 47 of prison act over a co with approval of the minister but the minister may approve them director general yak the section you quoted section 47 says that uh, that hard level ought to be approved by the minister but if the minister did not approve the director general the executive powers use will use this executive power to it so is that not a violation you tell us the violation thank you very much so now let's move on according to for section 47 it has to be approved by the minister thank you very much i agree with you so now let's move on to the issue of denial of medical treatment to inmates to prisoners say ngata fanna do to ka so lankolu bali jara rola ka so kono je Uh, hello jaralo benyami well you know the way treatment is like kuma benyami momo na la area long just as i said earlier on momo na la area of responsibility long is in his own area of responsibility so o karola on that side the mantraje i wasn't there but ngalo ne ko but i know that na observation or na experience je by my observation and my experience as well eh uh, high caliber prisoners the high caliber prisoners yani ibitala lopsan before they go to a hospital a mele it takes a long time especially especially eh uh, emenifa deny visit la those that we are denied visitors because of your fifty band they never want them to go out so that inila mulke benje so that they will meet with their relatives so wolu so for them yani be doctor jela ke mere before they see a doctor text time ila sa sa ay batan di bak ay batan no weto we it would have been such that uh, any disease that you suffering from would have disturbed you so much wato le ibe sojaro le fon commande la dobe je wala ke back up ti pour escort ni to hospital in some occasions they will even have to call soldiers to be back up to escort you to the hospital je so so all call we say use as back up pour que mol sam ke dan dal lopta no tebit prison officer or call them as back up to accompany the so, prisoner to hospital in a sense from what you are saying you are agreeing that they used to deny certain prisoners access to uh, medical assistance amunta say ila ko mo ko to munyi ko e wala mewo e bukata jara ro bundala munta ke balile pour yeta jara ro la men yalon ko keta mo fason wolti ka men nati ka sola Hello Nico denial ye balle when you talk about denial okay maybe it's very harsh over over fenke la bakele ko kole yala le that word may be harsh yo bare ala en fenko ni results lon wrong mi nyata dal lo tano wato la manta yo denial le what the end result is that if someone has to go to hospital and uh, he has not been allowed to go there on time then that uh, tanta mansu denial na health center men bije the health center that we have in there nim boro man so doje if there are no medicament in there completely boro man so doje when there is nothing no medicine the completely prisoners there prisoners of men can there for prisoners that are sick directly when you tell you that refer le those should be referred so, but now i refer boro man so am refer for now but if they are not referred when there is no medicine so we have information that some people used to be referred and they would call you remove their names from the list na nyinki baro soto ko kat dolu safe pour yeta bande la katab jara roje bari david koli ke tolu buru ka o kayto bala yes woke kele yalo yes that used to happen like kon na office le ka be prepare my office used to prepare it so manda in the morning 
be dinin kirin kila ta round i send uh, one subordinate to go around min be bita court all those that are going to the court be a uh, hospital all those that are to go to the hospital medical min rifa those that have been referred be by the name ta o somanda they will collect all their names that morning prepare. we prepare the names what la list fere and then uh, we place the list. number of prisoners number of prisoners whether remain or convict whether remand or on con or convicted all the names of the escorting officers all the names of the escorting officers attach to it we attach it to it hospital for now hospital also would remain and convict both remand and the convict hospital all those going to the hospital different hospitals the different hospitals sometimes canifing sometimes canifing and if sometimes banjul sometimes banjul sometimes serakunda sometimes serakunda so many kata of fernando those that are going there also yela nim beta we take all your data names it. Different hospitals, Minikata, and the escorting officers. Get their names and uh, write the different hospitals that they are going to, the various hospitals. Yeah, all the head, unit heads. Uh, you give that to David Coley. All correct? the unit heads, including David. David Coley will have his. Who, uh, who will. Uh, to, uh, I want to limit things because we are running out of time. Okay. Who would ultimately decide who would be taken from the prison to the hospital or to the court? Jumale Kana Nying Kangolondi. Kabul Kafoko, Nin 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 Nilu, Unbe Yamfala Wale Yeta Court, Wala Yeta Lopitan, Jumanu Lekao, Kamalundi. So I don't directly into Ofalano because Minakara, Nintu and the preparation of Baker Chow. I cannot say directly who does that because after we've done our preparations, we okay, hand over to the operation commander. We hand over to the operation commander. Operation commander Lenin Kaitul Baker David Yah. The operation commander now takes all these papers to the court Nangam Lesot and uh, inform him that today we have this number Attendee of people. Somebody in Fenke, the key figures there. And name the key figures. So we'll do the name five. And tell tell him their names. Ordinary prisoners, if you call a name, for more important to them. But the, for the ordinary prisoners, they don't. Like Army they don't. Like Army Like Army Commander, like Minister Kari or Palm Secretary Kari, is among them. Over and Katari, it will be decided like this. So you can go and decide. It's left of them there. They don't name the ordinary prisoners. So ultimate, no, the back. ultimately, they decide who would go and so who would not go. I'm coming to that. Uh, uh, I want to make progress. Okay. So ultimately, they yes. decide so who would that. go yeah, and who would not go. Yes. That's so now return da. When he returns, they will say uh, removes uh, such parties' names, removes these names. From so your all names scratch. From your observation, yes. Have you encountered a situation where people have been denied to go for medical treatment <coughs> when it was obvious that they really needed it? For ila cross road to injeleko, ye modo lubali tala le lopital noto many along ko tonya tonya. Nilube tembo mento inyanta tala lupitande. Hello, momo. I complain to come back and they are not right. Put it all up to note. See, anyone that complains that they are not sick, they are not well. By right, they should be allowed to go to the hospital. Decision man, man, you na kela wato. There should be no decision there. Whether a political prisoner or military, whether you are a political whether prisoner, you are, you, you, are, you are an authority or what? Who man you na shoto laji? That shouldn't happen. Mike, Mike. I'm sorry. In addition to all that, inmates who are sometimes tortured in the prisons, true or false? Yes. 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 Uh, I don't know the details of the prison treatment system in Go ahead, yes. go ahead. Torture, yes. Can you give us <coughs> examples? Example of the yes. But I can give you uh, examples, the examples, yes. United Nations on violation of human rights. When the UN people came there on violation of human rights, that around, they went around. In fact, when they were ministry, in fact, that found me at the ministry. So, I wanted to escort I them to, to, to lead the team to Janjambure to lead the team to go to Mile 2 and Joshua. And Joshua. I led them. So, bring that Mile 2. So, when they came to Mile 2, yes. officers they named some officers. Who were torturers? Eight, eight officers. About eight officers. Who they pointed who, them? Who pointed them? Prisoners themselves. 
Can you give us examples? Yes. Go ahead. Well, uh, uh, Deputy Commissioner Ibrahim Ajame. Deputy Commissioner Ibrahim was Ajame. The was the head at the time, so he that he's the chief torturer. He was the head at the time, and they saw uh, it with this. That, that's, an, that's, a, that's, a, that's a terrible allegation. You're <laughs> saying they suggested that Ibrahim Ajame was the chief torturer at the prison. Not allegation from me. Uh, According no, to prisoners, said, what I they said. said they, they say. Why I said he's the chief torturer? Yes. Because he's the head of among them. He's the most senior man. Of the torturers. The torturer that they named. Okay. He's the most senior man. That's right. So if you are labeling them, then he's the chief torturer. Okay. So we, li of his rank. So we list Ibrahim Ajami, chief torturer at mile two. Yes, according to them. According to them. Go by, ahead. By part of his rank. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And who else? And his team, about eight of them. I don't know all of them, but it, the names are there at headquarters. Can you remember, right as, as can you remember speaking, any other name? As I'm speaking right now, mm -hmm. none of them are working. They, are, they, they, they suspend all of them. They've system. suspended them. So the, the office will feed you that information. Who okay. And who. All right. Okay. Let's proceed, please. Yes. So this is what I know concerning punishment. So, so, so these were the torturers at mile two. You mentioned Ibrahim Ajami as the chief torturer. And others. Uh, yes, we also received information that some witnesses, some, some, some inmates even died in mile two as a result of torture. And the prison authorities would cover it up. Have you heard anything about that? For any more for some more I had a call coming for a drunk until I stay in mile two because he had back it. Yes, as I told you all along, so, my stay in mile two was not. In the meantime, as an example. A lot, but I can. What I can give you as an example. Well, Baba Jobed. Was Baba Jobed? I don't know. I know that. Well, uh, <coughs> discharge what was the middle? The time that he was, uh, he overstayed his uh, time in because prison. Because our sentence be safely. Because he served his entire sentence. And he was supposed to be released. Mamfindi. He didn't go out. Until he fell sick. Finally, he admit Banjul. And finally, he was admitted at Banjul. For another far. Until he died subsequently. Uh, uh, okay, let's take it step by step. You said he had already served his term. Yes, sir. Under the law, he should not have spent an extra day in prison. Uh, I owe to learn Mimbela after his the actual dating. Kobe is illegal detention. All the extra days he spent after the expiry of his term. Prison term are uh, illegal detention. Yes, because well, that, is exactly, that is exactly what I was driving at. Mm -hmm. illegal, mm -hmm. detention. Mm -hmm. illegal detention. So when they took him to hospital, they were still violating his rights. From that expiring date. Okay. And at the hospital, what happened? It was, it was there until? After I later heard that he had died. So I abandoned him into idea for because I was not there. The junglers told I'm us. I'm coming. I'm coming to that. Okay, arrive. <laughs> so under what for no? How we died, I cannot say. So for the testimony in start T R R C. It was only when the testimony started here at the T R R C. Then I get got to hear from the junglers that <laughs> they killed him. And I think we heard that together. So, Yes, but quite a little far. Obviously, you take out because maybe Sasa, Sasa, Fata Sasa, a natural death. But they said they killed him, but I, I thought that he had died naturally. Because every prisoner admitted. Because every anywhere, prisoner that is admitted. In any hospital. In any hospital. The guards will jail. We usually post guards there. Morning duty. Morning duty. Afternoon duty. Afternoon duty. Night duty. And night duty. Who would post the guards? Who would decide which guards would go? Operation Ladokhold. That is the work of the operations. Uh, on operation, Operation Ladokhold. We look at guards will post. Operation will post the yeah. guards. Uh, but we, apart from Baba Job, we also had, we received information that uh, one Ibrahim Ajouf in 2015 was beaten by some prison officers and uh, he was confined and he died two days later as a result of this torture. Have you heard about that? 2015, Samukono. 
na nyin ki baro fanan soto ko kasolan ka do soto ndai ka fuma ibrahima juuf kasola do kulalu official lu ya butele anu fo e pareta bala tumo menna ina ta muta kasoko no je bari tilikilim fula kola tambirungo ana ta fa fo fana fo yo fana muile ban so ma nga mo tete bari ma kalam da because in demand ra je 2015 wo mo defa la difficult yelt in prison I heard we will from, come to that. I heard it from you because 2015 I was not there. That was a difficult year for me. I was in prison. Because what Ole Mora as officer in charge remind me in transfer Makati. That was when I left as officer in charge and I was transferred to Makati. So new scenario will be happened in Komal. So all these scenarios happened the in my absence. Yes. I just hear them. Yes. That's right. That's right. Okay, but uh, back to the issue of denial of discharge. Are you aware that Sana Sabali also completed his term? Kabala, but he was denied discharge until a much later date. Molo many along koe ke la kaso ke hanfo ye la wato bang kaso la eka balang ke bula. Fwe nyum funam mwe loko Sana Sabali funang ye ole kala aya la kaso ke la hanfo at la kaso nyantaban na lume wulungu tambita imanso nga bula la. Fwe yo funam mwe loko. Uh, because several time in mile two, woman did raje. Yes, but several time in mile two, think, think I was not there, so I wouldn't be able to say much about that. But have you heard about it? I, I hear it casually, but the one which is certain to me is the issue of Baba Job. But these violations of rights were not, in fact, limited to just prisoners. Did it extend to prison officers? Ani kasola do kula lo officialu menu bije fo ul do lo fo lo do kula lo fo lo fo i bukela nyanto lo tiya. Let me follow Mr. Injala. Just like a model from them from the follow follow as an example. Well, my humble self sitting here. Before I will talk about someone else, I will start with my own self. Please go ahead. Doctor Ten Ten. Again, let me follow you. Let me remind you as officer in charge. As you are seeing me here, I was in the remand wing as an officer in charge. Officer in charge, we have a weekend, we have a weekend, we have a weekend. Officer in charge, I was on weekends because I don't work during the weekends. Is that a weekend? I went on weekends. One of my officers. One of my officers. I have a night duty, according to the story. Came for his night duties and uh, they said, according to the story. A parcel of cannabis, Sambana, Nyola. That he came with a parcel of cannabis. That he went to the staff quarters. That he went to the staff quarters. I parked here for Sudo. And parked it there until night time. I started to collect here for Kana Sambana Remind. He went and collected it to bring, it, park it, okay, to bring it to Remind. But when he was parking, Mole aje. someone saw him. So, he sing a new signal. And they signaled to each other. So, he was monitoring him. And they were monitoring him. And he was unaware. So, he was unaware. Remind. So when he went to collect it to go inside the remand, what was grip? that was when he was apprehended. Asambana. They brought him during the weekend and he was parked. I was there. I reported to my office on Monday. They said to me there was a case here which happened in your absence over the, over the weekend. And I asked them what happened. They said to me, came with cannabis and he was uh, apprehended. I said to him, where is him? And they said, where is he? And they said, he's, he's parked. So David said, I'm the officer in charge. So David said that let them take me there because I am the officer in charge. That I explain it, eh? And where did they take you? Yes, I'm in his office. Yes, I'm in office. He took me to his office. I <coughs> He asked me whether I am aware of what happened. I said, no, I'm not aware. I said, I only came this morning and uh, I, was, I was given the report. In fact, I have, I have not seen the person in question. I have not seen the cannabis also. But I will take the responsibility because I'm the officer in charge. He said, despite, I will take the responsibility because I was the officer in charge. And I said to him, no. I asked him, 
if I am officer in charge, am I always on night duty? You take a jail as director general later to work on. Even you, you close as director general and you go home. The man I'm under officer in charge. You take a jail as director general. Me too. I am the officer in charge. I close and I go home. The lieutenants you look at that age. My lieutenants are the ones that are left behind. So anything there, I want under responsibility. So anything that happened, that's not my responsibility. I can't, I can't catch challenge you. He said that I was challenging him. Yes, because more can you not find your call. He said to me, yes, this is what people say, that you want I, I, to I don't have that time. You want to replace me, that's why you are challenging me. And I, I said to him, also. I don't have that time. Oh, so, administration will undermine. so he said that I was undermining his administration. So, I been demoted. And that he would demote me. I, don't have power, I'm a commission officer. I told him that you don't have the powers because I am a commissioned officer. Even the demoted. If you are to de demote you will write me, to PMO. you will write to the PMO. PMO will invite me. PMO will invite me. I put it in writing. I'll put it in writing. They'll call. They will call you. They will call. They will call me. They see you see you we'll sit and they will look at the thing. They feel co I am at wrong side. If they feel that I am wrong, that could be when I will be demoted. Right, but, not you. but you you will not demote me. So in that hour, like, so we were in that situation in the rank of until they removed my rank. In the rank of one, as chief superintendent, I deputy was, commissioner. I was demoted as uh, Deputy Commissioner. To superintendent. To superintendent. Bodo. I was there. The ministry. I went to the ministry. The Bodo, the ministry wrote to him. I gave a report and the, the ministry wrote to him. Rank of and they asked him to reinstate my rank. Did he reinstate your rank? And rank of he reinstated my rank. He, he said, said he, can he, can, he, he cannot work with me. And transfer. He transferred me. Dara Makati. I went to Makati. Be Makati. I was in Makati, and then they called me again that I should come. BJ. I was there. Munkera. Adino. There was another pardon. One of the biggest pardons so far. That was one of the biggest pardons so far. A uh, <coughs> pardon. People were pardoned. Adino Nabekela Akabola President's office. When a pardon uh, takes place, it comes from the office of the president and, ministry, and goes to the ministry and, to prisons. and then to the prisons. So, so, the, so they will look at how they will manage the pardon because they will have the pardon, the, the criteria. Of prisoners, the pardon. They will look at the various categories of prisoners, prisoners and who are to be pardoned. <laughs> And uh, when they are brought, they will tell us to computerize, computerize them. So we want to know, you mean the We want to know these uh, whose names are on the list. Ali Jibe, you means time served, time balance, and in a remaining from coming KJ. Check out their time that they have served. They have served, yes. And uh, what is remaining? What is the remainder, remainder in their uh, term? We will write that all I down. Send back to ministry again. We'll send it back to the ministry. I send back to ministry. <coughs> but <coughs> just tell us exactly what happened after. We know the procedure for pardon. So okay. tell us what happened after. So bring, bring final Femko on another. Final uh, list on another. So when the final list came. Okay, pardon. Uh, to, for, the, for people who are to be pardoned. They were head of that unit. I was head in the unit. But that, sorry, that particular Femko uh, time. During that During time. time be be GTTI what of the exams preparation all. I was in GTTI and I was preparing for an examination. So make an office regularly. So I wasn't going to the office regularly. Mantaraji. I was in there. I didn't know that. And the pardon came. Nobody informed me. Nobody informed me. Nobody informed me. Nobody informed me. Bring a pardon or came be able. After the pardons took effect and the people were released. Second day. The second day. Radio announcement not have a there was uh, an announcement over the radio that, names will be that there were certain names that those that who had to be re-arrested, uh, that their uh -huh. pardons have been revoked, and that, in fact, it was a mistake in the first place. One, one lady, so Adama Jinde, Adama Jinde, Adama Jinde, Lameng. There was one lady, Adama Jinde, She's from Lameng, who is late now. They found her having uh, a dinner. Arrest in they arrested her and brought her. They followed Umar Manjang of Katong. They followed Umar Manjang from Katong. Brio pardoned. When he was pardoned, Musa Suso not received. Musa Suso came to receive him. Receive mile two, Jay. In mile two. A samba suokon. And took him home. So Brio about to attend that event alone because I was not there. After that, where he went to, I do not know because I wasn't there. So he could come. He that he left Umar Manjang arrested. So they said they wanted to arrest Umar Manjang. What classes GTTI? I 
came from classes from GTI on my way home during the month of Ramadan. I was uh, rushing so that I would be able to break my fast on time. I was on board public bus. I was inside a public bus. Okay. On my way to Katon. Operation Young called Lamin Show. Operation Lamin Show called me. Asked where I was. Can we summarize the narrative? Okay. I called Akonyoko. He called me and said, Puru, Nkara Katon, Iko Umar Manjang Bita Jelebi. We are going to Katon because they said Umar Manjang is going to be there. We are going to wait for him there so that when he returns, we rearrest him because they said it was a mistake. His name was not supposed to be on the list. Did you go with the prison officers in no. this operation? <clears throat> uh, did you assist them, assist them in any way? No. And then what happened after? I told them that I wasn't going. <coughs> I said to them because you arranged this prior in the office. Nobody informed me. I am a native of Katong. I am an elder in Katong. I am a, 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 a responsible person in Katong. I am a relative of Omar in Katong. I have children who are matured. I will not lead you to my own village to arrest someone from that place. How will, I be, how will I be perceived by the community? You ought to give this responsibility to someone. You ought to give this responsibility. You ought to give this responsibility. You ought mm -hmm. to give this responsibility to someone who is not from Katon. Yes, nga sije, nga discuss nga modalities you will work out anyanda kela jami. We'll sit down, discuss the modalities and Randa see how to... Randomize the office, ali ala plano beset. But let's summarize it, let's summarize it. Yes. Did you ultimately go with them? I you never went not. with them. Okay, and what happened afterwards? Uh, afterwards, akonyo kubawa yukwe titala sanyi. Afterwards, you so, said to me, <laughs> since you said that say, you are not going... Tama, can you... Uh, Tell us, give us a, the description of their house. I said to them, when you alight... You at the gave them directions. Directions. Yes. And yes. afterwards, what happened? They went home. You went home. I went home. And, and then what happened the next day? They went there. I did not know it until Monday morning. And, and what <laughs> happened on Monday? That Monday morning, bring the reporter office. When I reported to the office on Monday... Deputy director... The deputy director... Said to me that DG wants me to answer to him. Not at all. I, I went there. And then what happened? DG ko I I I officer paraded. DG paraded the hall in conference room. He be seated. He be able to come. DG paraded the officers at the conference room, and when I arrived, I found them all seated. And uh, they told them to march him, to march me before him. So, very quick marching When he told them to march me, you don't even march in la any rank below you. They march in the no. You equal rank me, you mean senior, me a senior or above your rank will be march in la. When you have been marched, a junior will not march you. Is it that you equal rank him. or someone who is superior to you? So, very quick and after one, I'm gonna be to release. When they told me to so, remove my, now because something went wrong there. To remove my. Uh, Heart, cap and my belt. cap and my belt, I knew that something was wrong. So that was it. The what was not a smell, many were carrying signs. That was when I began to smell what was happening. You marched before him? They marched me <coughs> before him. Lord, a panel of a I stood and the panel was seated. I could let them charge me. He told them to charge me. Of okay. what? I'm going to charge for what? Same question. <laughs> I said to them, What are you going to charge me for? I call aiding and abetting a prisoner to escape. He said, aiding and abetting a prisoner to escape. Yeah, which prisoner? I asked him, which prisoner? Omar Manjang. He said, Omar Manjang. Yeah, do you know the charge against me? The charge that you are saying against me, do you know it properly? No, five. I asked him, do you know the charge you are uh, preferring against me? Okay, I, well, no, this stupid man, he is now challenging me. He said to them, I told you, yeah, this, I'm not stupid. this stupid man is challenging me. Uh, he has uh, been challenging me for stupid. a long time. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm telling you. I told him, don't but, tell me. But ultimately, what happened? What decision was taken? So, ako, let them say, how can you, somebody who discharged legally with his authentic document, discharge certificate, you call that escape? 
from lawful custody. How did Umar escape from lawful custody? Somebody who was discharged, who was pardoned, and he left with his discharge certificate, authentic one, signed by the director general of prisons. Then you make him to escape? You sign his, his, his discharge certificate? Then you allow him to go then? It's where problems started. Uh, and, ha and what happened, what happened? afterwards? I could let them demote me. He said that they should demote me. So my strap was removed immediately. My strap was removed? As deputy co commissioner. As deputy commissioner? It was and, removed. And then what happened after that? So I, they t he told them to march me out. So when I turn, the uh, left turn, when I take the right turn to move, he said halt. Then I halted. So I go take him to remind. He said, when I took the right turn, he said halt. And then he said take him to remind. He should not be a free man. He should not be a free man. That where he's from, let him return back there. So Commander saw operations and his team. Commander saw an operations and his team. And, and his team. Yeah, escort. They ex escorted me, me to the remand win. This was on the 27th of June. 27th of June. Ramadan period. So I was there for two days. He said, let them take me to Syria Squad Inn. Did you eat the pap? I never ate. <laughs> I never eat there. Thank God. Yes. So I was there. He said, let them take me to serious crime. Unit. They took me to serious crime. Unit. <coughs> and they this said to them, this man is an authority. This man is an authority. You cannot just keep him here. We cannot just keep him here like that. What, what he has done, you have not told put us. Put it in writing. Put that in writing. Then you return mile two. Then you return me back to mile two. Where is Safiro? Okay. Where is Safiro? I don't know. Whether they wrote or not, I don't know. Not a murder. Not a serious crime. Unit connect. You return me back to the serious crime. June, BJ four on the on the fifth of July. Uh, in June, I was there up till the fifth of July. So serious crime. Unit connect. Go. But it's all in your mood. Yeah, but you need to come in from four. I need to be caring. You need to be from implicated. Can any case doctor? It, they said, serious crime said to me, these people, your people, what they are one. seeing and what is it existing? Okay. Uh, uh, we all know it's, a, it's an abuse of authority. Yes. Okay. Did they let the case die? Of course. Okay. So, 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 you, so, so, serious so, crime, you need to call. You know, you know, you mean for an member of an internal investigation of problem about the Secretary General, the Deputy Secretary General, can I follow the office? Because you told the documents to be prepared, so you are not there. Because, yes. because so we have responsibility on you. They should be punished. So, so you will silence about it. But I told the department agent that no scale about this. Yeah. So, so you were cleared. So I, I was cleared. So no, we cannot keep you here no longer. So call one of your relatives to come and bail you out. You go. And so they said to me, we cannot keep you here any, long, any longer. What you have to do is to call so your relatives. So what will not have a brother call? Bail you and take you home. Dudu Kotra. I called my brother, Dudu Kotra. Another Nanje. He came there. I think on inside. Bail bond. Bail bond inside. He signed the bail bond. You were let go. So now, I'm on court. Case so now, I, I have but not you resumed to work. I resumed to work. So, BJ, I can't enter the court. I was there, but he said he will, not, you go back. he will not work with me. But the ministry asked me to resume. I can't enter the court. He said he, will, he cannot work with me. Minister, can, okay, we need his service here. The minister said to him, we need the interior only as a support staff. And that was how I was transferred to the interior as a support staff. Ah. So around March, mm -hmm. until around March, was to, to Finland and uh, Swiss. There was a trip to Finland and Switzerland. But thank God. I said, thank God. <laughs> if this had not happened, I never travel. I will never travel. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. And, and the chance to earn per diem. Yes. <laughs> per diem, I travel, I see the world, I see the difference. So go yar yar van ni koro ben ya kairo te manyenda kela. I said so therefore if so there is a calamity in, in enjoying between uh, your progress and calamity something have to happen. Yes until this change of government keta until now that they are still government. Ya te bondi je. They removed him. Prime mane fen keta ya te bondi. You and your recommendation will get certain people mini nyenda tara. Do you want them so ya te sin this one. So you and recommended his removal. Of course. Okay. So mane na ta je ndeni mane be be nyoka interior je in the same office. A support staff because he had the same problem with money. This is why money also went to interior. Uh, one problem we haven't touched on, just to wrap this up <coughs> very quickly, <coughs> Mr. Yes. Chair, is the stealing of the rations. Can you tell us about that? When you talk of stealing, 
It's ugly. But they don't see it that as stealing. They see that as digi's right. If there is meat, part of it is the digi. Part of it has to go to the digi. So, and so that, and so that was the digi. And that was the system. What that was the system? We are not going to be able to get the digi. So digi's right to take the prisoner to the system. But in Nicosia, they don't have that. So digi's right to take the prisoner to the system. But in Nicosia, they don't have that. Let's get it straight. Yeah. It was digi's right yes. to take the prisoner's food. Yes. Because prisoners food long because we are not approved prisoners, so we call prisoners food automatically. It's, it's prisoners food. food because it's there for so the for prisoners. The DG can buy bull and slaughter it. It's not for the DG. And no, that, and that, 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 and that was the system. And we were carrying nunge. We enjoy all that. The DG bole yamaje. That was how we found it there. That was the way the, the DG was. How would you describe David Coley's management of the prisons? David Kole be mara lo la nyame nkasola ete ba ko fono la nyadi man dua wala kota ki in our life i don't pray for such again in our life until the gambia ceases to exist to have people like we need sort of prison kono egni mo to have such leadership again in prisons o mi aloka commission officer demote someone that can demote a commissioned officer ay demote they will demote you min dia ta ba ke kanje and you do whatever pleases him you the you will write to PMO, you will go to ministry, to no avail. Nothing will come out of it. Very powerful man. Where, like, did, where did he derive that power from? Is it from the, listen, is it from the law or no, no, no. is it from somebody about the law. else? When I say when there is a gross violation of human rights, the, the law is silent. <laughs> don't talk of the law. There is no kind of where did he silent. derive the powers from? From the law? Or from somebody else. He's telling, he telling you that he is the director general of prisons. Whatever he likes in prison, that's what is going to happen in prison. If you don't like it, you leave the job. This is what he says. This is what he will stand and say. Who gave him all those powers? The powers derived from the state house, from the the, the then president Yajame. Lawfully or unlawfully? Yeah, you don't have that. Lawful, a normal person will not even behave. We see them as idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Oops. Yes, normal person will not behave that way. Commission officers, by PMO, how can you remove, remove that man? You, you, you don't write. You how don't, would you, you rate? Say, how would you rate his administration? Alamara <laughs> Rose, Zero over hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mr. Witness, you gave a signed statement, and, uh, and Mr. Chair, I would ask to admit this statement because there are aspects of this statement I would not wish to be dealt with in public. So I would ask for the statement to be admitted. Take a look at this statement, and you confirm that this is the statement you had given. Taiwe kai tu ni murundi le kana ya juu be four tu ni tu ni 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 mukumaka mti ite fanya mendi. Councilor, would that be the statement as a whole or accepted out some of that relevant? The statement as a whole is consistent with his testimony, so I'll just admit the whole statement. Thank you. Let me change the date. The date is here. Thirty years. All right, it's mine. That's your, that, that is mine, yes. I sign it. Uh, could you uh, uh, provide the copy to the chair? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, the witness would want five minutes to ease uh, himself, and uh, I would uh, wish to end my questioning of the witness as soon as he comes back. Um, so I would propose that maybe we take some uh, five, ten more minutes, and we'd be done with this witness, and we can return maybe after 35, 40 minutes bearing in mind that uh, uh, 
people may want to pray and uh, so that we can just put in the second witness and uh, we can finish two witnesses today. Would we take the second witness after lunch break? Yes, after lunch break. We, I but think we would take just one hour, 30 minutes with that witness or two hours at the most. Yeah, so we would then suspend the meeting for five minutes um, to allow the yes. witness um, to, and yes. then come back? Yes, okay. and uh, then we would finish with the witness because the commissioners may wish to ask to speak. Yeah, first. please go ahead, the witness. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chair, could you make a pronouncement on this statement? Would you? You, you, have, you have not indicated the mother exhibit number. Uh, yes, it if should you, be one three one. one if you would accept it. Uh. Yes. Thank you very much. No. It is therefore exhibit one three one. The statement of this witness. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, Mr. Please, please go ahead. Yes, Mr. Chair, I have no further questions for the witness, and thank you for answering my question. I now hand you over to the commissioners for any further questions they may have. Time, uh, lead council ko aye bandile amanyining kardo soto abe nyining kalamen la betun silang ati yoko saundi commissioner lela karola formo be soto la membe nyining kala commissioner lukom. Thank you very much, um, uh, council. And uh, um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Quarter, for your uh, testimony. And uh, um, commissioners, if you have any questions to ask, please uh, must so indicate. Deputy Chair, you have the floor. Chairman, no Thank you, Chair. Mr. Quarter, I have two questions. Okay, the first one is in relation to the daily updates that you gave to the relevant authorities concerning the numbers of prisoners and the types of prisoners that were admired to. Munta Lulundi al Casafero Menke, Kakulu, Lankenema, Casolanko, Lakulu, Alike, Ekenyaming, Puru Alkao Kaito Lumenu Fintindi. Did they, these updates, did they contain any information about the overcrowding that was at the prison? Or was it just numbers? Uh, the question is in relation to the overcrowding of the prison. Yes, information about the overcrowding of the prison. 
information flows, and each time there was overcrowding, the ministry is aware. Because number ming ming kata duolum report ming kata je. Because the daily reports that go there now fluctuate. It fluctuates. That at higher from koi kalno he je kaso from kata lesanya. If it uh, increases, goes up, they know that uh, there is overcrowding. In fact, ola ke ke padi no kana ola fangkon. And that is why sometimes pardons so come new, about. So, new Siva kata tenderong. If things like that happen. Okay, but yeah, now you're fighting off. And if the, the, the report gets to them, they will say, then let's, let's effect some pardons. So, okay, call a jam. That was the way. So, information were. okay, daily, weekly, monthly, where is always there? Information goes there daily, yes. weekly, and monthly. These pardons, did it affect uh, the convicted prisoners? or also the, pre the inmates at remand. Ni ya fo men ka kete ya men no kitindi ye soro aka wolu male ba fo dum men ya lon ko ye muta ye natije. No, buka ke padi no kay fen ko aka ke only convicts lek. The pardon is only for the convicted prisoners. Because you remind already wali ya la fit lon le in a time of going to court ye lon. Because those in remand know when they are they are good to go to go to court. Need changes get a high court. You know, some delays get KJ. Sometimes there is change in the high court, or maybe there are some delay. So maybe judge will say change. Maybe the, there has been well, a change. Don't delay J. Of judges. Look at that court accordingly. That always uh, delays some le. case cases from proceeding. Yeah, but now man go the kind. But apart Pardon from that, I can convict the malt. Pardons are only for the detainees. Prisoners. Get yeah, a discretion law. You told me as a man J. Don't look at feel co. Ngatakama ngabula. As for, it, as for the detainees, they use their discretion whether to yeah. release the person or to collect the person from mile two and take them for impri imprisonment at their own uh, place of authority choice. Sort of we don't have any authority on that. Only thing we make wrong as custodians. The only thing we do as custodians is to keep them for them. And when they come to yes, collect them, they will take them. Abant. That's all. Yes. So there was no engagement about the length of time that an inmate could spend in remand. But Amunda, Amunda, what you mentioned to Mumu Muta remand call you can what you mean can no we remand can Amunda what you mentioned to Oh, because most of the remand for seven years. Remand. No, because years. people are in in so Gambia for ten years. Like in any part of the world, it's only in the Gambia that you find this kind of thing. So, so, because if you take this into consideration, the length of time that some of these inmates at remand had to spend within the remand facilities mm -hmm. contributed greatly to the overcrowding of these facilities to the extent that people had to be leaving like sergeants in pins. Uh, Ika sardinyo lula nyoka on sardin poto kono nyami mulu kana atara wole nyama. Jesi dete hanufo ala natambi. Yes, one main factor. There are a lot of factors, but one of the main factor of angat. That's the main factor. Yes. Amongst others. Thank you, Imam. And Diallo, you have a floor, please. Witness. Yes, sir. Imam Diallo, come and say it. You said earlier that you had to leave the service because of difficulties. But I have noticed that you keep coming back to this very service. Why? I you know, as a human being, there is something which is your way. So I see to it that prisons, bring a school blah. since I left school, that was the first job I had Me before experience. I was matured, that so I have experienced. Not a training means Rakono. And also the training that I had in it, I saw to it that anyone that, that had such training and it's been in that system for a long time. Exemplary characters in any society. Uh, such a person would be an exemplary person in any society. So what are the prison do for? That is why the prison work. Even where I am now at, which is uh, more lucrative. Uh, more lucrative. Uh, 
the moment they put out the phone to the wrong, each time I get there, na behavior nying, an in character. My behavior and character. Katandila ko nyumu service manon. It shows you that this person was a service man. And the ojima from bije ni bokol kela mu akarina mu kela na ka confidence rondo ikem bula kuwa la ikem assign because you trust me so rondo na odaji ko. And uh, even when the people are doing them something or they have some things to be done, they entrust it to, to me because but of my character. Mas service oni kula to be candid. I I put service in front of everything. Olajina. That is why. When I see boys being enrolled into the services, within two years, within two years, the motor sang, and they are buying vehicles. The fantastic houses in Yolo. They are building fantastic I houses. I see to it that these ones have not come to work for the country. Kanu. They don't love the work. You know, not you know. They have come to look for material. Well, I think every now and then, if a problem will come Which is why, from time to time, they are in problems. That is why I love this job because it inculcates good behavior in you. And I also see it with that. There's a genuine earning in it. In in there. There. Whatever you earn there is something that is rewarded. Because there's no corruption. Except if you bring it up. It's a clean salary. That is why I do not envy anyone. If not that the, the, the popularity that I have attained this country. Duties. I general duties. I would have gone to general duties. Or immigration. Or go to the immigrations. Whereby, if I was there, not in a short time, I'll get something. But a I, family saw it, I saw that I have a family. I am also I have good friends. Uh, together with people, I have good friends, and I am not denied. Let me be contented with what I have. Let me be contented with what I have. That was why I wasn't prepared to go to some Foul other places, places in Ojil, where, which is attractive. There could be foul place. Say, you are a human being. You, you, can, be, you can, be, be, can be overtaken by Satan. Which is why I love the because uh, it is free of uh, corruption, except if you bring it along. That's why I love to work as a prison officer. It's pertaining to the very good behavior you have established and shown that you are interested in your job and you are very conscious of all that used to happen in the prisons. I didn't why didn't you take up this opportunity to challenge the course of prisoners and the conditions in the prisons to ensure that the prisons will be made more homely for inmates? I didn't so maybe commissioner jang tenna do ko lonna ngambin ke woto maybe altol talonna bo ngalon judiciary maybe the commissioner here and some of you here will not know my contributions but the judiciary ma fo min pass out sign the sign the junior I am not talking about the junior judges or uh, the play. For those that we are in the system workshop for a long time, the role I play. I for about prisons. The things that I tell them well, during they are, workshops. They are living witness for that. They are living witness. Because most of all these workshops, prison can tell us. Most of the workshops. I, I am, to tell them the condition of prisons. I was always sent by the prison department, and I used the opportunity to tell them the conditions that the existed in the Even my promotion to a sergeant, chief justice, the chief justice, I, 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 I recommend this one kind of to be promoted because bring another Gambia down. He recommended that I be promoted. Prisoners will cannot court. Because since he came to the Gambia and prisoners I, we are going to court, I, and the manner in which he saw me, he never saw any officer. So he personally wrote a letter for my promotion. 
You promote a sergeant. And I was promoted straight to the within, rank of a sergeant. Within six months, you promote again. Within six months, I was promoted again yeah, to inspector. To an inspector. So I so see to it that I have contributed a lot to bring about some of the changes that are there now. Prison, you can workshop or organize it. Before, the prison used to organize workshops. Fire service is on the interior. Fire service is on the interior. Immigration is on the interior. Immigration is on the interior. Prison is on the interior. Prison is on the interior. But it can all upgrade now, maybe a prison upgrade one But the way that they upgrade those services... It can expose now, maybe a prison expose one They don't upgrade... So every meeting, UN House... How they upgrade those other departments, they don't upgrade the prison like that. How those people are exposed, they don't do that for the prison. Uh-huh, ten things. So I am the one that used to say all these things. Each time opportunity I go to the meeting, the sister forces and tell them that the opportunities that, the you, have opportunity to, prison, that you have given to the we sister, can do better than them. If you, but okay, the opportunity that you offer to the other sister forces, if you offer the prison services that same opportunity, things will be more improved and better. And I think I'm, I'm very proud of that. Okay. I've uh, shown the I have shown that in the prison and outside. Where in entire courses mean within human rights for gender for phone call certificate of Because because of that I have been to many courses and the certificates I have gained from those courses and uh, uh, other uh, 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 venues that I've went to, those things are a proof of what I have contributed or tried. So I think I've answered your question. Hmm. Point here is Mike, 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 yeah, just give it a yeah, My point is that after getting out of this service, you could have joined the human rights groups any other group for that matter to improve the conditions of prisoners and the conditions in the prisons and to expose exactly all these things that you have in your mind I think, I think that's because why people are ignorant in mile two. But I, think that's, exposed. I think that's why all the judges and magistrates and other personnel at the court came to know about me and what I always contribute about the prison and the prisoners is uh, what always uh, is always what I uh, try to expose at such meetings and so on. What on the B? That's why today, meeting of the Daoda, wherever there is a meeting, Daoda, wherever there is a workshop, training the Daoda, trainings, not interior concern. If it concerns the interior, if a prison judge, you will see a prison officer there. So I've, I've done my quota. So <laughs> that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, Commissioner Bojang, Commissioner Ka, Commissioner Samba, and. Uh, that should do it. And then uh, the bishop. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. I have a short question. Okay. I have a short question. You said here that Omar Manjang. He was amongst those that were pardoned by the government. After an mistake After they said that was a mistake. And uh, they put the trouble now upon your head to the extent that you replaced him in, in prison. So what became of Omar? after you were arrested and taken to the serious crimes unit. How Omar ended, that is what I want you to clarify for me. Okay, bring Omar when Omar had that he is going to be arrested. 
man na futa kodeke he never reached katong again so a finta banko nyami mawolo i don't know how he left the country na man contact soto because we had no contact o ato telephone da bulu at that time he had no telephone soto lan ma dem to mo mo je no mi al telephone number soto i didn't see anybody who has his telephone number so what o ibende fa monito kan so ngan keep le hani ala moda mon assistant what o ni na tan kata contact because he's aman kende ano be larin I me myself I was so monitored but yes. myself I was being monitored yes. and his mother was my sister yes. and I used to go to her to go and extend my greetings to her yeah so always I appeal je ko ila ibc da nyawo nya ni na ta katong kana ye futa na ningeje do rakum da omar leje isa je relief ta so that's why the mother told me that I am appealing to you whenever you come to katong please try and come to me because whenever I see you it appears to me that i am seeing omar so nina tena nina tan kataje this is why i always go to her when i go to katong say free mind yala i'll give her a free mind to omar la i'll tell him that omar is okay omar prisoner ti yemi firita omar ti and there is no prisoner who is responsible free go le pongo yala and he doesn't get any hard responsibilities de la office fere my office is omar be selo minto number 1 Omar is in cell number one. Very and close. And he will come and Even if I call him, he can come to my office. So problem to you? So there is no problem. But what period of bacon? But oh, during all that period, I decided to go away because from the company. Even monitor can they? Jani ka Omar kalang along. Because I was being monitored before, before they became aware of. Before they at all. Before Mbato. Before they became aware of Omar's condition so or where he is, I don't go there. So never have been stressed like that throughout. I was in that stress throughout. That day they were monitoring. Wherever I go, I was being monitored. For bring changes, change of government nata. Until when this change of government came, Ngaje Omar findi dana. We saw that's the time when Omar appeared. Ako nyenge la case be moile chau. He told me I've heard about all your cases. Mimi beke de langa be kalam tala ya kafonye. All what happened to you has been narrated to me. Ako nyenge bara alata. He told me about have faith in Allah. Nima alata nyenda mineta. I told him if I don't have faith in Allah, what am I going to do? Yes, min dia dey yak. What they did what they wanted to do. I thank God Imam Fa okay. I said thank God as far as you have not died. Yes. So ako nyembe nun Kasamas ile. He said he was in Kasamas. So fine. I said fine. So na harma dia continue ta. Baraka baraka left a jojo ni ni. Thank you. Baraka baraka ko ya baraka. Thank you. Goodness if you can shorten your answers some that will help. Ni sila jabiru lu suti andi dal o bem mako ile. Commissioner ka. Commissioner ka. Wala kan ni ninka. Uh, I have a question. The first is you mentioned that um, uh, when certain certain detainees were brought and uh, uh, officers of the prisons uh, challenged them because they were brought under executive directives yes. and um, certain prison officers challenged uh, those decisions. You mentioned that they could be accused of trafficking. Does that indicate that there is a problem of trafficking in the prisons? Many years ago, the executive directive was passed by the government. It 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 was passed by the government. Just as what I explained to you earlier on, those that come to work for the love of the country and those who come to look for monetary gains are not the same. They are not the same. What do you want? If not, you that is guarding someone, and they will tell you that he was caught with cannabis. The government tells you that we entrust you to keep this person for me here. And then you bring cannabis and be trading it with the person. How do you see that? Is that what kind of worker is that? These are the type of officers that you have there. When these high caliber prisoners come, and they know that he is someone who has money, so at the family be distant ring imala kul kalama long and he at the family the family he is separated from the family and he needs something from his family these are the kind of boys that they call 
tell them that be, be that I'll offer you 5,000 so that you just go to my wife. Whatever is with him, you'll tell her or she will give him something hey, to five thousand. If the salary is 1,800, 2,000. If you are giving 5,000, if you are giving 5,000, when your salary is 1,000 something or 2,000, and the you after understand. Effect, it will be considered. But you don't consider all the effects. Personality, the personality. Personality, you have not considered your personality? Eh? Obviously, ni greedy ta. if you are greedy, you will take the money and serve his purpose. Ni illegal, any, illegal any illegal thing that you bring for him, ni amuta. if he is caught, he will tell them that it was brought by so and so officer. I have no legs to go out. Band. I cannot go out. You see that uh, the fact that I have this here me is possible so, for me. Me. so these are the scenarios that so you have here. Here. So if you bring these type of officers, you find them guilty because some court told like you, you accept that they did those things. So, so every fa big family, there must be black sheep. <laughs> Uh, this, so, what uh, you mentioned cannabis. Aside from cannabis, are other drugs trafficked um, in the prisons? Yeah, 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 cannabis la kumofoje. For kola, drug person do luka sotole, ika menu wa afika soko nubal. No, 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 mimi kumonta jie baka, nga mingi longi yeo, nyamoda malo wote. No, the one I know, which is most common, is the cannabis. Nyamoda malo. And cannabis. during the time you were there, was anything done to, to, to stop this, this problem? Jidiye watu wame. For a man who came and the mercy, you go through far casualty. Me, keep in your drum. Yeah, but I'm in bula. I accept what they are saying. What happens is that uh, uh, whosoever you catch with it will accept that they brought it. Keep in. Ike, 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 demote le. What happens? They just demote you. They refer to DLJ. Drug law enforcement. To drug law enforcement. Well, I dismiss. Or you are dismissed. Yes, I'm a drug law enforcement. Well, you're a case star. Or take you to the drug law enforcement right. for them to proceed with your case. Because up to now. Up to now. What kind of officer men? The officers that. See a battle. But hands are jammed, bro. That pass to that is are uh, many, and but up to now is still there. But the more, the more, more drug action get done. But whomsoever you are escort, action is taken against the person. The officer be alone. And all the officers are. And we're young, young. But despite this, those that are wicked are wicked. But the good ones are good. Yes. Sorry, final, final question. This, is, the, this is regarding the, the, the pub that you mentioned. If I got you right, you did say that um, the way it was prepared was very bad, right? Just, 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 just let me finish the question, please. Mm -hmm. The question I want to know is, what was bad about it? I just want you to tell us what was so bad about it. As far as they say, it, every, on top of everything. it causes very, very, which is a bad sickness and which uh, uh, kills people. There's nothing uh, bad above killing people. Yes. So, what are we doing? Thank when you. Uh, Commissioner Samba, you have the floor, please. Commissioner Samba, for now, left in Yeninkala. Thank you, Chairman. Lamin, tell of in Yeninkala, men, what am I going to do? What I want to ask you is this. Um, Prisons, Nkajeleko, Kewal, the Maneka Tabiroka, and Musul Fanan Bekasoto, the Fuebuka Musul Allah Puri at Tabiroka Kewali. I hear that it's only the men who do the cooking, and you have women prisoners. Are women not allowed to do the cooking? Prisoner Musul Minbije. The female prisoners there. Only look at Tabiroka, get killed during the train. They don't cook, they train only the male prisoners. Hello, Jimbe. Very bad phone call inherit gay. Conquer all me for very, very bad administration all inherit. We inherited a very bad in administration there. Because you want to know. Because if had it not been for that, Momo Tabirola Jay. Any person being this, a cook there. Ni serious, ni serious government long. If it is if it is a serious government. If they, the training in the hotel school. they should all go for training at the hotel school. The certificate. 
they will be certificated. And when they come back, they will be qualified and make good food. But that's not the case there. So the female prisoners, the male prisoners there, when the officers come, they will randomly select people and say to them that we are posted at the, at the kitchen. And those posted at the kitchen, those who were found at the kitchen, all the and all candy, all the phone call can be made. All the prisoners, all the jabol, all the nyami, all the nyeli was on the nyami, all the fry all the nyami. So I be from that ground. And this is how they will show you how to peel onions, how to do the job in the kitchen. They will show you when they are brought into so the kitchen. Formal training to you. There is no formal training in the kitchen. So musol buka bono because musol la number buka siya. Because there are very few women there, so, so this is why. Well, because find no banda for outside labor, and they don't go out for outside labor. So han futo kile ka tu kile ka ayerenge kile ka beto foto. Even for the couscous, it it is prepared by pounded by men and prepared so, by okay. men. Ika fiyo mbeso la ready made. Ika dandi la palato ka yeta ya dandi. So everything is made ready made and put so, on a plate and uh, taken to the system. Them. That's the system in the prison. Yeah, mira, wole mati na njim beri beri ni kuol bebe keka. Because ke wole te wole bebe keno la. Banyata no at least ika muskili mbula nbi ke wole kono purke put through. Na mira be domori kendo wole da no lele. Andu ibe tabi kendo tabi lele. Do you not think this is the result of the beri beri? If they had included women in the preparation? Maybe you wana seke no le. Baribudu niye nyo jube. Maybe that can do. That can be. Kele ba jurula. A kochi. A tenteng. A futo da da jie. Obviously... Does that mean that they are going to be able to do it? Or they are going to be able to do it? Because of uh, the coups is pounded by men, the separation yes. uh, 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 is done by the men, and the, the whole preparation is done by the men. Had, been the, had it been that even a single woman is among them, she will be able to show them what to do. But as far as everything is done by the men, yeah. Then sometimes you will find even sand inside the food. Because you know that the food la quality from a jibe, if you got good quality, it's not jibe. This is why even the food, if you look at the quality, it is not always. The whole prison rule, not at up to one thousand or nine hundred, eight hundred plus. If you look at the rule, it is eight hundred to nine hundred to one thousand, and you want to cook oil. If you do not jail, amount jail is measured like pork, like fish, or corn, cooking pot corn. You have to, to look quality. at the amount of oil to put inside the cooking pot. So, so you, you know, the quality, you don't talk of quality. This is why they don't talk of quality, just for you to eat and fill your stomach. Yes, because there is no other choice. Because there is no other choice. Quality goes out of it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Bishop. Have the floor, please. Bishop? Bishop thank you, <coughs> Mr. Lamin Korta. Yes, sir. Bishop Lamin Korta. You did mention that um, up to 1982, uh, you had diet A and B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, can you kindly explain what is diet A and what is diet B? I have to say that I diet A and diet B. What the diet, time. diet A. Diet A. Uh, for ordinary prisoners. It's for the ordinary prisoners. But our quality is different from today's quality. But the quality that is very quality. Was different from what you have now. That cooking was far better than today's cooking. The cooking was better than the one done today. Diet B. Diet B. Uh, Okay, top civil servants. That was for the top civil servant. Of, we call them VIPs. Those coming to jail, VIPs. VIPs. That be recommend well. That be was recommended for them. But what the difference mean BJ? It's very slight. Slight difference now. But at that time, the difference is very minimal. Because so he called a tabiro ka from Because the Th cooking was done separately. Many ke died eight tabi. Those who cook diet A will be fired. They are they were on their own. Okay, diet B, tabi. Those that cooked the diet well, B, B were on their own. And the, the number of prisoners at the time for now. 
and also the number of prisoners at the time Ama wara, man, shia, was not much. So if ni efeng otabi wrong aka quality de. So when you cooked, you cooked good food. Yeah, but saying but now what are 50, 75, 100 people prisoners at the time 50, 150 70, last year. 100, 150. If, if the number you see to it at, uh, 800 plus, 900, 1000 plus. You had quality food, but now 800 so, to 1000 inmates. So, which man can cook food for that number of people and still be good and qualitative food? So, difference. So, this is the difference. Thank you. Uh, my second question, actually, it's. Uh, you did mention that the prisoners are locked in again about 5 p.m. in the evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is the container that, uh, that they are given that is where they will have to, when the call of nature um, comes, that's where they will have to urinate and also defecate. And uh, they will stay there until 7 a.m. in uh, the morning. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, the rules of the prisons that um, when the call of nature comes, uh, the inmates should actually do it in uh, uh, the, the shell? Ako, why are you for Kotala Lulu? No, Sita, a Kadalu Sorone, Kasolankoni, Tarabungo Konoje. Andung, a Kabidongo Lekuntu. Kauda kunto londi yeje pro ni membita jala mutola wala membita la kamatotala ikbeka ke wapoto le kono akondo silan ni ba wosorongo kono je men lefta tala kamuto wala kafanya ke 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 jala muda so fo wairi bunda katara sorondi na fotala woro wula somanda wodumbe ka ke imodolu nyala le kaso bungo kono je ban selo kono je. Ah, unless in you know it, but you know, you know, you know, you know, yes, except you are asleep. But if you are awake, anyone going to toilet or urinating, you, you, you'll be aware of it. Unless ning photo nim fata. Except if the chamber pot is filled up, the officer attention or call. They will alert the officers. The photo fata the afila bona jang and party left the toilet. That the chamber pot is now full and the party what wants the to ease himself. That is when the officers will come and open the door. Mess boy, the model she put on the entire empty toilet. The mess boy and some other person will carry the chamber pot outside yeah, and, and empty it, wash yeah, it, yeah. and then bring it back. Ah. But is that the order? Is that the rule that um, should? Uh, that's the rule. That's what is happening. All the cake. That's, that's, the that's rule. what. Ha that's yeah. Rule. That's what's happening. Thank you very much. If there are no further questions from the commissioners, uh, Mr. Kota, if you have any concluding remarks to make, please proceed to do so now. Well, if, you be, if you don't mind making it a bit short, we are uh, running out of time. We're preparing for the next witness. And, uh, that's why. Thank okay. you so much. Well, this is something that everybody so, is, is, is aware of. Or something that everybody is aware of. But there shouldn't be much talk. Gambia jang. In the Gambia here, Gambia be this has been a school for every Gambian. Before 90, before 94. Nobody sat here before 94 so, saying that there will be a day Whatever happened here, there will be a place where all will be narrated in, in, in secret and uh, outside. It has never happened. But those who are uh, talented people and uh, they are helped by Allah, there are people who decided to be very careful. What the Mandinka proverb said is tomorrow doesn't eat, but always to prepare for it. This is why people like him all these things that happened in the prisons. Prisoners never said Mr. So and so. Or name all the traps that they set, he always escaped from their traps. It's because of Allah makes him escape. <coughs> because 
uh, UDP people na makati because the coming of the UDP people yeah, they, yeah, they, on the ground. the founding on the ground they they receive. uh, he received them uh, energy minister the energy minister Fafa Sanyang. Fafa Sanyang. the current secretary general the current secretary general Nuhature. Nuhature. Uh, Baji. Baji. the then managing director of petroleum national petroleum the then managing director of the national petroleum. petroleum he received all no of the people no go enjoy received all of them at Janjambure, Makati. What happened between him and those people? They themselves will become able to Because if he said it here, people will think that he is praising himself. But all that, people who left there and came to report him at the headquarters, saying that because more malo will be damning. Because people didn't know where they are. I know imams will be. Then he be receive makati. Even those imams, he received them at Janjambure. So imalo imalaf moli aleve daming. Because they didn't, the authorities so didn't want to know where they are. Kortale ke nyula medical paper tia because under ke arrange ye sambal lockdown. Because they reported him saying that it is Korta who Boro takes their Boro 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 Boro. It is Korta who takes their medical papers and take them to the hospital. Boro Boro Boro. But they don't have medicine. There was no medicine at, Janja, at so the boy uh, hospital. The boy at the hospital there. Prescription. I will just cast, ask him because to make a prescription. Because these people cannot be here like that. If something happens to them, a prison suit or court. and they sue the prison police to court, pull head. The, what the police said, pull head, that's what's going the to happen. The director general will say, 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 the director general will because if that happens, the, what the police used to say is pull head, yes. that the director general will say that I was not there, so he will run away from responsibility. So what I do, I take those prescriptions, <coughs> I will tell the people that where, where I am going to send these people, the, these papers, <laughs> give me the address. <laughs> then <laughs> I will send those documents to those addresses <laughs> so that they will be able to get medicine. <laughs> there was a time <laughs> they came to report <laughs> me at the headquarters <laughs> say, saying that it was him, Korta, who exposed the whereabout of those so, you know, detained people at the Janjambre prison because okay, the, authorities the, didn't, the authorities didn't want to know their relatives to know that they are, janda, they are at Janjambre. Okay, so, so evidence produce no then I asked them, produce your evidence. Before that, call headquarters. somebody called me from headquarters and told me that he had been reported so here prepared. and you will be called, so prepare. Mm -hmm. What I did, mm -hmm. prescription or demon law. Those who I gave prescriptions to, and one of my friends called. I called one of my friends. I told him to go to Nogoinjaya's relatives and Fadjawara and tell them that. Momo na tal ni nka jafu. Allah mo la loptan kai tul kafutala ba. And ask them whether your people's uh, 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 prescription papers arrive here. Allah fo eko. Tell them that. Do you think of our? We are thinking of our people. Sapa we don't even kai. know where they are. Much more. A, 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 a medical paper. No card play on yam. That's how I played that card. More than a joke again. When I left that, oh, Imam Sunyol, Sawane Yol. The Imam Sawane and others. And others. Wolfram. Those people also. Wolfram. Borrow me, borrow or cash. So I get a problem with. They were unable to get medicines. Na friend over jam. I have a friend here. Wole ka borrow sam. He buys medicine. Yadin na. And give it to me. But they are listening to me right now. Ke borrow ka 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 meje. And I, I want, I'm the person who applies oh, Janika Bonanji. Bonanji. till the time they left the place. Moto. I was there. Entrance final jam I was transferred to the headquarters again. Yes. Moto for now. I was there. Miss, uh, remind, we were reminding us officer in charge. When I went back to remind as the officer in charge. Oh, 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 oh. All that. Yeah, ke trap all setting to get me in. There were certain traps for me. Uh, when, all drunk. when they leave meetings. Somebody will call me and tell me this transfer is a, plan. Is a, is a set plan. of plan. Is a setup for you. So you say, So be careful.
Okay, thank you. I'll tell him thank you. He told me they will, they will take me to the remind. UDP militant will be able to sign it. Because all the UDP militants are at the remand. You know the Joy Town. Those others are at Joy Town. The Agri-9 are the senior officers. The Agri-9 senior officers and all the top officers. They were all at the remand. They are, their eyes are on you now. So now they are all monitoring you. So be careful. Yes. Puru Nigri Dita. So that if you are a greedy person, yeah, he say involve. they will involve you. Okay, thank you very much. I will tell them, Not an I came there, BJ, BJ. I was there. He brought a meeting on headquarters. After they are meeting at headquarters, so a general search in the they say they are coming to organize so a general it, search at the remand. Instead, illegally. If they happen to come across anything, so any material and illegally, they will put me in, in, and celebrate in trouble. It. And they will celebrate it too. Kafuko, the, the, he's now in our net. Saying that now, evidence Korta is in our net. Here is an evidence but against God. him. But I said, thank God. But I have blessings from my parents. Yes, I have blessings from my parents. So that also, they arranged more than 70 officers, which has never happened in prison. They arranged about 70 officers, which has never happened in the prison. So humiliate these prisoners. To humiliate the prisoners. Undress them. Undress them. One by one to sit them outside. One by one and make them sit them out, and make so them sit outside. The whole place of remind wing. So that they will search every nook and cranny in the prison cells. Some of the items there. Some of the items there. Where they are more than 20 years. Where they are there for more than but 20 years. But they removed everything. But they removed everything. Even their belongings. Even their belongings. Which, their, which is their entitlements. Their entitlements. Their belongings which they are entitled to were seized. Pick up on you. The pickup. They found them more than three times. It was filled more than three times. They five band. And throw these things but out. I thank God. But I thank Allah. Even one item, me alone, is illegal. Even one illegal was never item found. was never found in the site. I had to dance. I had to dance. I addressed them there. I addressed them there. And that was the end of the show. That was the end of the show. They went. And they left. They removed him from there now. And they removed him from that remand wing. They take me to main yard. They took him to the main yard. I was there. I was, he was there. Thank God. Thanks this, to Allah. This security reform came. When this security reform came, I transferred. He was transferred. And when I was in Joshua, a similar scenario happened. When he was in Joshua, something like that happened again. Baba Lee is a living witness. Baba Lee is a living witness. People don't know where he was. People the didn't know where he was. What was the word? What was the word? What was the word? He will always, always tell me, Korta, pray for me so that I will live here. I said to him, you will go. I gave him names to, confidence to give him confidence. All those people came here and they left. I told him, you will also leave. You will not die here, you will leave. He said to me, how, my, how, my, how will my people know that I am here? One of the best friends was staying in Karton. One of his best friends was staying in Karton. Because that person's child will land in his home. I told him the, the way I am in the prison. Here. Anybody who comes here. They will know that I am being witch hunted. Even though and others all I told him that I cannot go to your home. I don't go to any prisoner's home. But what I can do, if I go for a weekend, I will go to Amadou Bansaya, your friend. I'll tell him, you are here. You are at Bambadinka. Two stealer, if you can there in the two stealer. Nothing is wrong with you. Was down with Yale. I tell fellow Molesa, he he You are quite well, and he will inform your people. Yes, in case Baron Debuka is a prisoner, so I don't go to any prison home because I'm being monitored. Because I'm being monitored. So when they look up, they don't know me. Especially if my case. If they are under arrest, they will celebrate my arrest. Oya fala Molesa. That's how his people were informed. So Ngamera de. Ngamera say say Ngawoleke. This is what I did. So what do you mean to be? I see the time we are living. This is a rallying point for all Gambians. You never again. Never again. Among the commission hotel on yinted. This is not the commission hotel. Among the president hotel It doesn't belong to the but president. But more, more be that order. But every, but every minkela, person, whatever you do, even more minkela, whatever you do, this never again is for you. This never again is for you. Minta mira. What has passed? Don't do it again. Akana. 
don't do it. Ni yaya takita wakono. If yaya's case, yaya's case as a, as can comes be, on that, it can be a learning point. It, it should be a lesson for all of but us. But it must stop. But if you don't stop, if I repeat it, kang, and you want to repeat it, it, it you are not being making it's a mistake. Deliberate athlete. You are doing it deliberately. This, this is why sometimes we quarrel in town. Some people say that the TRRC has and no use. It should be stopped. Some people say that the TRRC has no use. Stop it should be stopped. Because, recommendation because they make recommendations and some, some people violate it. I told them there is no ruler whose time goes to the end of the world. The other was here and they will say when the Gambia is without the Unexpectedly, yeah, man. Unexpectedly, yeah, yeah, came. Yeah, yeah, life president. They are saying, yeah, yeah, life president. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's not around so today. So who else will come here, Minti Tala? Nobody will come here who will not leave but one TRRC day. But TRRC should continue. The TRRC should continue. Records should be in the file. Records should be in the file. Papers never cry in file. The papers don't cry in a file. The papers never cry in file. The papers should be there. Government if this government fails to take action, the next government action, coming. The next government coming. I've been handling the TRRC again. He, it will, it will, it will make us free from another TRRC. The TRRC do recommendation on Mbeke. These TRRC recommendations. You don't buy pickle from there. You continue to rub and. These other ones will pick up from there and continue. <laughs> this is what I tell people. And I think that's the way it will happen also. So victims, you as for the victims, to forget about our case, it's left to the perpetrators. You know that, truly speaking, what I have done is not right. It is not a crime to go to the person and apologize and ask for forgiveness. We are all good Muslims and good Christians. We are all good Muslims and good Christians. If someone says that I, 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 I troubled you in, in humanity, that's the only thing you can do. The, Torture that they cost you, they cannot take it oh, away from you. Like the Malingas say, if you tell a worker, um, um, well done, um, it helps the person. Um, um, but that does not remove the so hardship the from the person. The if they agree victims will be accepted. and apologize to the but victims, will apologize. the victims will the agree. Force to to victims will find a, if, if, if I but if they refuse to apologize, to the CRRC cannot force the victims to reconcile. This is my personal belief. Oh. Anyone that feels that they have have of of offended me or the cause of so my detention, come to me openly. I'm sorry. Come, come to me and apologize openly. And I say now. thank you and we'll forget we'll about forge it. Ahead. And forge ahead. Thank, thank, thank you very the much the indeed the for those personal the views. Bar. And uh, um, we appreciate your coming to testify before the uh, commission. We will um, uh, take a one-hour break and uh, come back at uh, 3.30, 3.45. And uh, would you, uh, Council, uh, would you be ready for that uh, otherwise? Yes, but Mr. Chair, if we are to take a one-hour break, then it will become a bit pointless to hold to hear the witness today. So perhaps maybe we just push it till tomorrow. Uh, we either um, take a shorter break Yes, and try to I would rather it. do that. We take a shorter break, yes, sir. either 30 minutes break or we come back at half past, uh, half past three and then do it. If that is um, uh, not okay with you, then we take a 30 minute break. Uh, we come back at um, uh, 3.15, but we need to, we can't lose um, uh, uh, the afternoon just like that. Well, from our end, we are fine, so. 3.15? Oh, no, 3.30. 3.30. Fine, thank okay. you very much. Uh, we will um, uh, 3 uh, come oh, three, back at 3.30, right? 3.30. Okay, thank you. 3.30, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kota, again, thank you very much um, for coming thank to testify. So thank you so much. Thank you. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, sir.